But anyways, um, transitioning here, any given Sunday. Um, Sacrifice. Let me ask you this. Up in your life. Did y'all watch this movie? Did y'all watch this movie in uh, theaters? I did not. I did because D was playing football at the time. So yes, I, I did too. I, I did too. I, I definitely watched this in the movie. St. Charles I watched, Theater. I watched this. Marlo <clears throat> Heights? Not Riverdale? I don't know where I watched this at, but whatever. But I know I watched. God. What? I watched this in Romeo Must Die in the same theater. I just don't know where it at, though. Whatever. whatever. But anyways, um, your need given Sunday is made by uh, directed by Oliver Stone. Oliver Stone, he's a bit of an enigma of a director. Yeah, he is. Like, he like is. there are certain movies I've watched of his, and like, he was it? I think he did Wall Street and the sequel. He did Blue Steel. I watched JFK. I love JFK. Zebrahead is weird, even though he was a producer on that one. Like, it's just a lot of the movies that he's done. I've, I've enjoyed. Any given Sunday is probably my favorite one. Honestly, out of all the ones that he's done, personally, but you know, but that's it. Um, so, so Sue, you said, did you see it on D? I'm assuming you saw it on cable on DVD, Sue. That's, I rented it when it uh, released. Oh, okay. Um, but nah, in any given Sunday, it's kind, it's it's crazy. Like it's like a better version of what the program was to me. The program was focused on college football. And, you know, at the time of college football, there was a lot of bullshit that went down, especially because of the Texas schools and, you Wait. know, the recruitment and all that steroids and shit. So, you know, Wait. that was different. Oh, what, what's up? Um, don't forget. Come on, man. How you how, how you going to uh, forget the GOAT? Oliver Stone did Scarface. Oh, sh- oh, he did it. He did it. He, he wrote that. He wrote. He helped write. Oh, yeah, yeah. He wrote. Yeah, he wrote it. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah wrote, that was the Palmer. I know. Yeah, yeah, Palmer. It was the Palmer, but still, he wrote it. Yeah, he wrote yeah, Conan yeah. too. That, yeah, Conan. Yeah. Well, Paul script. Right. He paused the script up for that. Boy, I want to know the cocaine power he had. Conan, what is best in life? <laughs> All right, guys. This is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> Got line. This is gonna be. This is what, what they're gonna call a banger in the future. I was never big I on that. Natu- I, I was never big on that one killers, even though I know everybody loves that movie, but I, I couldn't. His, his very his very first uh, thing that he worked on was a, a little softcore crime drama back in '73 called Sugar Cookies. <laughs> this sounds like a softcore fucking that movie. Sugar like Cookies. That That's what it like was. It was an erotic softcore soft crime, drama. sir. They put that. that- Softcore to me is a it's not, it's not even poor to me because you don't look, see no insertion. Look, 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 Chris, Chris. If 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 Cinemax and Showtime and HBO existed back in the seventies, that would be the that that shit would be in rotation. That was and actually, shit. those were those and those were what people call artsy pornographic. Yes, films. yes, artsy porno that was in the porno theaters in New York. Yeah, which, and those were the films where guys weren't jerking off. But they were hard up here. Mess. Also, did you also did you see the chat? <laughs> anyway. The fact that porno theaters is a thing is just a wild concept. I know, bruh. Up to the 80s. Hey, Eris, I will like, like look guys, look, I think it'll be fine until you start hearing. <laughs> All right, it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> Heavy breathe. I'm pretty sure the chick that saw like, PB Herman doing that shit freaked oddly out. Oddly enough, the oddly enough, the sound, the sound is not what is not what's gonna get me, y'all. It's the breathing <laughs> that's gonna be like, okay, it's time to go. Also, also, <laughs> are they bringing in lotion or are they just just raw on it? <laughs> it's like, how's that work? Back in them days, I'm assuming raw on it. Jesus. Some savage or, ass shit. Or because you can still get popcorn at, at the theaters at the <laughs> time, they went heavy, they went extra heavy on the butter. Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> that image. That picture says it all. <laughs> That picture would be me as soon as I hear heavy breathing. I'm like, nah, I'm out, bro. I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Because you ever notice that that butter feels like oil? 
Hey, 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 y'all, when you put your hand inside the popcorn, I already know what it is. I already know what it is. It's hot as shit, too. <laughs> Almost got birds on your dick and your hand for that shit. Fucking gotta see this through. <laughs> This is 1973, y'all. I'm just saying. Girl, I'm wondering why you got third degree burns on your dick before she give you a blowjob, and she's like, "Nah, I'm good, nigga." Shit. Like, nigga, why is your palm extra red? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you done been at, nigga? No, you was up in the red like this. Look, that's how you know. That's how you know how Iverson was raised by his mama. That's how you know he was raised by his mom, but he got the hands up. Obviously made that look a lot. <laughs> he looked just like his mama. Oh, man. Together. But nah, um, any given Sunday, it really was kind of like, um, it was really kind of like a kind of microscope of what was happening in the NFL in terms of a lot of things, whether it was like uh, you got LT's character dealing with concussions. That was a big yep. thing and stuff. And, mm. you know, the still doctors. Is a big thing. The, still is a big thing. Just the sketch doctors that are just like, yeah, just throw some Novocaine in it and shit, which I'm going to say it again. Perk Mahomes in the Super Bowl. That nigga got fucking Perk juiced Mahomes. up. He got doped up and came out there because he was limping at halftime, came out and was like, let's go. And I'm like. But you like, were just limping just um, a minute ago. The one thing they yeah. also the, the, wasn't that the wasn't that the crazy thing though the amount of drugs that just oh that was just oh. flying around yeah. willy the drug nilly. The problem in the NFL is a weird one that they blocked a lot because of course a lot of dudes smoke marijuana, but in the eighties, whoa, the coke and the crack was. Uh, oh no 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 no! I'm not talk- oh no no no! I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the the. Oh, oh we're talking about the doctor drugs. I'm talking the about the doctor, doctor drugs. drugs. Like, like, oh my god, Eric! They're like, ah, just give this. Like, they got. First of all, first of all, when the players are able to accurately uh, uh, say these fucking 30, 30 word uh, medications, like I'm sorry, oh, thirty name- letter, thirty letter. Uh, like <laughs> medications, like, like, look, I need this, I need that, I need this, like, give me all of that. Oh, my man was at the tables talking about I almost passed out in the tunnel and shit. And he's telling the doctor, give me blah 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 blah. I'm like, this motherfucker knew all the names off rip. Like, yo, I need isotope therapy. I need isocortisone for my back. I need to do. It's like, like, like a lot of those dudes, especially. Who, especially in the '90s, they there was a lot of guys that were in their tenth to like fifteenth season that were banged up. There's a reason right now, Eris, there's a problem going on with running backs in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Running backs usually only last about two to five years. And that's at your peak as a player. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of players who were like superstars year one and year two. By the time they get to year seven, the NFL is like, yeah, nobody's going to get you. You know what I mean? Like you're not, you're going to be on nobody. It's so funny how, how it's changed up, not not just because of not because like you know you know how the game is played, but more so of y'all guys get beat up because by year four you're needing knee surgery, hip surgery, so you're gonna need a surgery that's gonna slow you down. And Eris, nine out of ten times, any surgery they take, they slow down and they stop drops. Unless you're so, an yeah. like back then, everybody. Clink, 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 rub, rub, rub. <laughs> Unless you're an anomaly like a Barry Sanders or a uh, Frank Henry, Gore. Frank, Frank Gore, Gore, who was the who was the by Indy's definition, the toughest millennial foot or running back of our generation. That nigga was like 40. That nigga was a clear 41 years old when he stopped. Oh no, no. Oh, oh, oh no, Eris. Here's what you're gonna laugh. D, remember when Frank Gore was playing and his son was playing on the same fucking team? No, no, they was playing on opposite. Were no, they, opposite, on the same team no they were on the same. Team? They were on the same team. It was fucking hilarious. I'm like, bro, you live long enough for your son to play for the same NFL. That team. is That's only wild. something that has been done in baseball. LeBron is trying to do that in basketball. I don't think it's. I already so, told you. I have this feeling. It's, it's going to be some home cooking. Going I don't think Bronny's good enough to be in the NBA. 
But then again, like I said, he's just this is his first the year kind of playing overseas. Cooking. So. Home. Oh, cooking. dude. Fresh it's like, wow. Stuff. We got another Austin Rivers in this now. <clears throat> wow. Fresh. That is we fresh. are we sir. That is fresh fish uh grease. So. Uh-huh. All mm-hmm. these kids get but anyway. That being said, though, but that's a that's a concern. A lot of guys like Cortisone is a lot of guys' favorite friend in the NFL. That's their buddy. That's their buddy because out of all the illegal shit that the NFL will sit there like, no, shh, you can't take that. As much as they do that, the one thing they do ask for is like, can I get some cortisone for my name? Yeah, sure. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> and who is the doctor in this movie? It's two doctors in this movie, and it feels like they're very uh, angel and demon. You got James Woods as Harvey Mandrake. <clears throat> and Matthew Modine and, and if you, Ollie if, Powers. Yes. I like how Matthew got, Modine is the perfect good doctor. He's the guy like that's like, I'll help you out. Here's the thing y'all also have to learn <laughs> in this movie, y'all. That's a solid B actor. I ain't going to put you on the A scale, James. I'm going to give you a solid B scale. You're a solid B actor, you know, plus all the sexual allegations. And, you know, you you going upside the head of a lot of women. Oh, but, but that being said, James, yeah, he's a good solid B actor. Mold Dean, a good C-rated character actor. Did you say C? I put him in the B territory. Mold Dean is <clears throat> he's definitely B. He's, he's a, a B. He's a B. No days a B. No days a B. That's me. Yeah, he's not C. So yeah, that's like, ooh. <laughs> I get why you said C. With, we're good look, with this look, casting. Look, I get why you said C because he was in Cutthroat Allen. I understand. I totally understand that. Hey, look, look. Hey, look, look. <clears throat> hey, look, dog. Look. <laughs> Nobody mentions Jerry Stackhouse on the Wizards. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that, hurt me. that hurt me, nigga. How you think I feel? Like think that? I hurt me, man. I was like, I remember that. What are you talking about? Like, listen, this could work. Listen, listen, we're not gonna. You don't have to, uh, you know, be hard on them for being in Cutthroat Island. I mean, that excursion had to get paid off somehow. Exactly. You're right. Sorry, Harris. You think he's paying the excursion back then? No, I that was BMW, a, sir. That no, no, was it? Moldy looked like a guy that like I always wanted a 1960s. <laughs> Remember, remember, everybody, anytime, anytime somebody's in a movie, a shitty movie at that, that you know they have no business The ultimate in. shitty movie, by the way. This ain't the shitty movie. No, no, I'm talking about anytime that any, you know, any well-respected actor is in a shitty movie that they have no business being in. It's always a truck that they're either about to buy or they just want to yeah, pay yeah. it off. Yeah, so in this case... It was a. It was a. Toyota. They don't want to use the money that they already got. They, they, they'll take the money for doing the shitty movie and use that. Ah. Now, you gotta remember, Eris. This is the. This was the John Carter of the eighties. So, <laughs> so, so when that movie came out, Matthew, where did all the upfront money go to? A nineteen eighty nine Toyota Tacoma. Oh my god. You know you don't have the money. For- <laughs> 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 you know that. <laughs> like what are you like what are you talking about is it all these theaters oh my god <laughs> speaking of which saying oh my god uh hey john c mcginley i love you as the beat reporter i like how john hair. c mcginley jack he Rose. was jack he Rose. he played every annoying journalist of the 1990s complete with chewing gum Chewing gum. He had the Jim Rome <laughs> douchebag haircut and, and <laughs> the mustache, the goatee. The goatee, yeah, <laughs> And on top of that, and on top of that, he was one of those. I'm trying to get a scoop. I'm trying to get a scoop. I'm, 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 you know, I'm a reporter. You know, yeah. Now it, they kind of did the journalists in this movie kind of satirical. You know what I mean? Mm. They weren't. There was no seriousness of what the journalists did. Outside of they did control the narrative with the fans, but eh, they were vague in this movie, so you don't have to really go. And then you know what I mean? you got, uh, <laughs> Dennis Quaid playing uh, Philip Rivers. Oh my bad, Jack Cap Rooney. Nah, um, nah, nah. Clearly, he's playing Aaron Rodgers. I don't know what you're talking about, right? Here. <laughs> First off, he didn't break his ACL. He broke his. Back. Uh, he uh, his by the time, no, 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 no. Hold up, Barry in the lead here. By the time, by the time uh, Pacino approaches him at his house and tells him. I'm starting you first. Coach, um, 
listen, I appreciate you wanting to do this, but uh, look, I'm taking medications for this, I'm taking medications for this, this for this, you know, my neck hurts, my, my, like, I got a ruptured disc, I got this, I'm shaking, I can't even hold a spoon anymore. Bro, bro. Your boy was broken. And then on top of that, his wife, Lauren Holly, God bless her. She's she's a great actress in certain roles. She playing perfect trophy wife is like, you're going to retire? She, you're going to retire? Why the fuck are you going to retire? What the hell are you talking about? Meanwhile, this dude is like, you know what? It's I can a combo. <laughs> it's a combo but here's the thing, though. wife. But here's but the thing the that killed time. me. It's like, yo, he's going to retire and actually have a cushy for life job on a network television and shit, which is like the best Bro, job you can get. As soon as, listen, as soon as he said, I know some guys at the network, I talked to them. I can get a job after I, you know, after I'm done, you know, once the season's over with, I'm out. I can go work at the network. When she slapped him. All she said, she repeated over and over, you're a football player. I can talk to these guys at the net. You're a football player. You are a quarterback for the Miami Sharks. I'm like, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Tone your voice down there a little bit. <laughs> ma'am, I need you to understand. Listen, I know you don't understand this sport. I'm pretty sure you're thinking that the uh, <laughs> that when he reaches the end zone that there's a pitcher waiting for him and the umpire <laughs> is going to call the game. <laughs> I think you're a little confused here. I need you to understand. <laughs> I genuinely need you to understand. This man is going to take a position where he could just be an announcer. You know, you ever watch, you ever watch sports center? All right. Hell, he could be a coach. He was all, you know, he's a court. Like you said it yourself. He was a quarterback. He could be a coach. I, I will say this. I think it was a combination of. You expect him to keep playing when he's 50? I think it was a combination of a couple things. Number one, I'm going to put it this way. She knows that her husband's an athlete, and she knows for a fact this motherfucker's going to if the rest of his goddamn life mm -hmm. if he didn't play that last game. You know, I was good. And like, mm -hmm. But you quit. <laughs> yeah, I did. And then he's going to bring that up every four fucking goddamn months. So what Number do you two, do? Number two, number two, um, I don't think the job even mattered to her. Like, you're, you're quitting. Really, nigga? You quit, but baby, I can't play. No, 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 no. Remember that shit you brought up about, yeah, I'm going to tell her, no, no, no. You pussy out on me right now, but baby, I just want to <laughs> but, but I, I, oh, really, I really wish, I really wish that, uh, I really wish Cap could just hit that uh, hit L one and called in striker John Bernthal. Where you're a football player. Shh, 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 shh. Be quiet. The man is talking. <laughs> but, I, I need, I, like, but like, you're a football player. Shh, shh, shh. Let the man talk. Okay. He said he's going to retire. He's got a job with the network. It's like you're a goddamn quarterback for the Miami Sharks. All right, Cap, we're going to need to have a talk. Well, Eris, this is the other thing you also got to realize. And this is the one thing I think a lot of people forget about this. He's a fucking meathead. Yes. But here's the thing. But Stop. And Eris, Eris, Eris. There's something I've noticed about all quarterbacks, mm -hmm. no matter what they are. They want to make sure they did everything they could. Yeah. I have seen every quarterback go through this when they're about to be done. They want to be done. Ben Roffles, we've seen it in a pitiful flicker of stop doing it. You're ruining your career, your legacy when Ben Roethlisberger was doing it because it was like a flickering light. With Tom Brady, it was like, Tom, oh, you're done. Your time has passed. Long past. Oh, uh, Peyton Manny, it was like the gods have talked to us, Peyton. <laughs> you won a Super Bowl. Give us your retire. Hand. Like, give us your hand, Peyton. Where Brett Favre was like, Brett, we told you last time. The gods <laughs> told you, stop showing your penis and get in here. You, you don't have to play football no more. So here's the thing. 
<laughs> are you going Washington to ascend? Hyped him up. Are you, are you, go- hyped him up. Are you so. going to ascend to Mount Olympus or not? Oh, oh, oh no! I think see, here's the thing. Me another year of but football. see, here's the thing. <laughs> the gods came down in this movie and humbled her and him when he tried to pull a Willie Beam and got to the end zone. And he woke up and had the white noise playing, and she was like, "Oh shit." I got oh, a story shit. for it. This oh, is shit. basically. I like, how he, I like how he turned and saw a shadowy figure in an empty stand. <laughs> That's when you know you need to just retire, bro. You seeing that shit like, nah, Boy, this is retired, dog. Suddenly, suddenly, he was, dude, suddenly, this whole movie. Suddenly he was tasting purple. And- <laughs> this whole two-hour movie lit up. This whole two-hour two-hour movie with symbolism with symbolism <sighs> al- everywhere from Oliver Stone. The only time it made true sense to me was when he got clocked and saw one person. Person in this thing, like, oh, oh, yeah, not just Dennis, get your ass to the sideline, dude, nigga. Dude, it wasn't just one person from the way he, like, from the way he looked and from the way that the camera made it look, bro. You couldn't even recognize it. That was a hidden, uns- that was a hidden nigga, character that he saw. That nigga, his wife, it was, it was all fucking, shadow. It was hilarious because his wife was just like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. Damn. Because um, that, mm. you know what it was? Like, that was great. I have pushed because you're right. Hard. You're right. You're right. Because you're both, like I said, it's funny how we always have these little arguments where everybody's right. Because as much as I say, yeah, I agree with her. Hype your husband up and tell his ass to get on that fucking field. Quit being a pussy. I agree with her. You're a football player, nigga. If you don't go out there and play out there and get your last game in before you come in, this, you know what I'm saying? I'm with that. But at the same time, do you know how fucking violent football is and how we don't care he got lucky he got pinged and not concussed oh no that, he, that's what that scene was because when he was in the blocker room and he was like yeah coach i could play he looked at him like nigga you were no you're not playing hell you're no done. no yo you're if done. i put you out on that field you be dead no. it's funny no and no, no, no no and i just brought up like i said we have seen quarterbacks come in and come out we have seen uh who was it? We seen uh what's the name? Uh 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 Matt Ryan. We see the way Matt Matt Ryan, superstar court, he was exactly Randy Quaid in this motherfucking movie. And he couldn't get nothing right. His last game of the year, Eris, it was incredible. He turned into the old Matt Ryan. He actually did everything good. And the team lost. My last game as a football player. <laughs> we lost. And it was a pathetic loss that I couldn't stop. Actually, it really taught a lot. It it told a story of Matt Ryan's career. He never got a ring. I don't know if he's going to have enough to get into the Hall of Fame. But it's one of those things where it's like, oh, my God. Also, I gave everything to football. Here's the gods. You ain't getting shit. I know, right? Also, See you also, later, Matt. <laughs> tw- t- 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 28-3 is going to be hanging over his head for life. Oh my God! Nobody's gonna forget that. That nigga had Tom Brady to rights in a cobra clutch. Harris and they could he couldn't throw a football. To, he couldn't throw a football to a gigantic to a gigantic catcher's mitt. Like no ball, yeah. There's something weird about watching the Super Bowl and you're sitting back like laughing like Tom Brady is losing. This is great. Oh no! Oh no! No, and here's the no. Ah. What D, what D, you told us about how. <laughs> it's don't the, you be- it's, the, it's the Akira. It's the Akira me. Yeah. It's like he's losing. Actually, <laughs> actually, somebody put that up. Somebody put that up because the because the Falcons Brady. lost like the Falcons lost like that this year. Somebody actually used that meme and they're like, "Leave me alone, dude." <laughs> but nah, man, like like you said, like you said, that nigga got up after that Willie Beaver touchdown, and it's like, yo, he tasted purple right now. You, you might want to join us. <laughs> you keep this to the Negroes. I don't think this is true. <laughs> Yo, that nigga was also yo. He pulled a t- he Tony Romo ran to the end zone. I'm like, yo, he is lucky he didn't get split in half on that fucking hit. Oh my god, god damn. man! I have seen we have seen quarterbacks take hits, man. Those are those hits. The those what I call the crossbody hits where you get ploop plooped and spun around. Those <laughs> are the most hardest to fucking watch in football because it is soup. It's a it's two dudes going 20 miles per hour in two different directions. It's a both, both laying a combined 
five fifty to six hundred pounds. Oh, that, happened, that, ha- that happened to Michael Vick when he was playing for the Eagles and Washington was playing, and Washington had two defensive linemen like crushed Vick when he like leaped into the oh, end zone and shit. Oh, one of the real big hits that even though Washington promptly whooped our ass that game. But one of the big hits that had something to do with RG3 slowing down is when Brady James and somebody else on the Cowboys double penetrated the living crap out of this nigga and made this nigga auto reset. I will never forget that. This nigga came around the corner. Poosh, poosh. RG3 was on the ground, got up like... <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Boy, he all the way. Yo, he got the Windows error sound. <laughs> oh my god, man. Dude, that was on that was on some smelling salts. He smelled it smells like oh shit. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was that shit when from you fucking. Un- uh, when you unplug a USB without hitting safely remove. <laughs> actually, oh, yeah. it was the uh, Jared McGuire shit when he got hit and he woke up and just started getting up. That was fucking RG three right there. Oh I was my like, God, man! I think anybody that gets hit and got to go to the motherfucking sideline, that's that little jump where you see your computer go block blank and all of a sudden you hear and you see the low, you see the Windows logo like, oh shit, <laughs> oh. Pull That's one you out. going to the sideline, get your head straight. You all right, bro? Is that he got a concussion? He clearly got a concussion. <laughs> also, uh, pour one out for one uh, Tyler uh, Cherubini, Cherubini who got in the game, got popped, and he was done for the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Was, he, he was, was so done. bad. Also, Eris, I want you to recognize somebody who was in this um, um, movie. He was a football player for a short time. He wasn't that very good, but you remember who he is. Who is this person? I know. Le- yeah, Lester. He was the uh, he was hey, the Coltrane. Yeah, Coltrane. Coltrane. Yeah. So yeah. When I, when I spotted him, like when I spotted him, I was like, "Hi, Coltrane." I, no, I, said, <laughs> I said, "Hi, Terry Tate." Yeah, <laughs> Terry Tate. That's the. Other one. <laughs> it's Terry funny. Tate. It's funny. Him of all of the of the three guys that went on to do something funny. Him. Terry Crews and Terry Crews just blew up, of course. But then you got Spice Adams. Spice was actually good in football. Spice was actually a pretty decent football player. Of the three, I think he was the best of the three. Yeah. But Spice was just Spice was just fucking hilarious. Like he, he just... was he was Spice was like one of those dudes that he was good at football, bowed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, hey, I got my money. I got I my gave, pension. Gave what I need, and what, I, what I had. That's all I had. Bro. It was just like homeboy who was willing to sacrifice getting multiple concussions and possible death just to get, just to be worth a $1 million. million dollars in 1999. Good old LT. And, yep. Let me tell you something. One of my football heroes and one big reason why D to this day has never done cocaine. Because I would be Lawrence Taylor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is a re- he has um, been one of the biggest reasons. I want why people I to understand. I want people to understand. In the nineties, Michael Irvin and LT were keeping the coke business and and, and booming. It was booming. Both of them too. They were Man, keeping the coke they business. Able, they were able booming. to keep. They were able to keep the coke business uh, going into the new millennium. <laughs> a actually, uh, they, actually, they they made sure it was the one drug that survived going into the new millennium. I hate to be that person. There was more cocaine in college football. <laughs> True. <laughs> way yeah. more. All I'm saying it is way more regulated. <laughs> all I'm saying day. is in the '90s, though, in the NFL, this was a no- it was a normal thing. It was everything in the news is like. Hey, blah, 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 the Cowboys got every, caught with coke. Every other team, every other team had a drug problem, and no matter what city it was in. Over here in DC, the Washington Redskins had a nasty little drug problem. So bad that it took down uh who's uh Dexter Manley? Yeah, Dexter Manley. Oh, Dexter Manley is a big, a huge reason why I stayed away from, from drugs too. This nigga, I will never forget when the um I forgot what Super Bowl it was. They were honoring him and some other Redskins uh, for whatever Super Bowl it was in, right? They yeah. gave him a check. I forgot how much it was. I think it was like $80,000 or something like that. Something modest, you know what I mean, for for X player. He snorted it all up in one weekend. Mm-hmm. In one entire weekend and didn't have the nerve to try to sue the NFL. And it was like, no, get your shit together. It has been 30 years and you're still addicted to cocaine. 
So it's it, yeah, it's sad. Back in the day, it was, it was bad. Now the worst you like I said, outside of guys who, who are addicted to painkillers, which is one thing the NFL really needs to kind of clamp down on, because mm-hmm. I think it's going to get bad in the next ten years where we got where there's going to be players who are our age, Chris. They're going to come out like I've been taking blah 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 for this long, like. Are you alive? Like what? You know what I mean? Yeah, like painkillers so don't end up like Benjamin Pratt at the end of the damn Doctor Strange. Like, mm. <laughs> 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 I mean, look, ended up like motherfucking Delray Lindo. Hey, Dr. Hey. Max. <laughs> Put me over here. Like move on. <laughs> nah, but then, then you and then you have so the whole course of this movie is literally structured around the relationship between Willie Beeman and the coach, Coach Tomato. Coach See, Tomato, I got you. You need to understand. You ever played football when you was a kid? I oh got. I'm going into my Colombo. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, look. He Run down gives- to the Buick. No. Run to the Buick. <laughs> Giving his players the Vince Lombardi speech. Like just imagine, like just imagine that you are back in the hood. You play <laughs> Go down to the viewer. Hey, hey, hey! Shout out to Jamie Foxx for doing the same, doing the Al Pacino fucking impression in front yeah. of him. Going out, get you hear your mama ringing the dinner bell. And the lights come on. I'm like, bro, that is the most. It's like it's racist, but I get what he's getting at. Do you want to know? I didn't pick it up as a kid, but I pick it up now. This scene, you know, I didn't have a father too. So. World War like World War Two. You know, if you want to have a talk about not having a dad, that that is that Jamie. Is the, okay, <laughs> that is that is the equivalent of I would have voted for Obama for a third time. Let me tell you something, mm, Gen, mm, Gen X black people. Mm, I'm yes. so sorry. Yes. Every white man did that to you. I am so sorry. Oh no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I got that a couple times in the military. So uh did y'all y'all you you have a father? I walked away because I'm like, what makes you th- I lied so many times just to see how far it went. You have a dad? No, I don't have a dad. You're like <laughs> You're an asshole, you- D, because I can't, oh, no, I, can't no, no. Follow, I can't I follow through on that. Here. I can't do that. Because I used to always proudly say, yeah, I got a dad. Yeah, I got a dad. One time I was like, D, let's see where this goes. <laughs> no, I don't, no, I don't have a dad, man. Like, well, you know, man, you know, blah, 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 blah. Hear me. <laughs> yeah, man, it's tough. <laughs> see, 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 D the type. That's so like, fucked up, I know. See, like, see, yeah, see. Man, it's been tough. If D did this, see, this is how I know D. D My daddy did, love me. I don't know how to hold this. D, D would get his youngest child and try to get a John C to make a wish good shit going on with his third Hell kid. No. no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. That little motherfucker don't need that shit. Gross. You don't need to feel like he's special like that. No, don't do that. Gross. Come see John Cena. This kid is sick. It's crazy. Gross. That's some Michael Jackson shit. I wanna, what, how did you do that? How did you do? What, did, how, what was a lie that you told Michael Jackson's people? First of all, <laughs> that's what I want to know. No, I want to. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and be that guy. He didn't have to. You see, when he was on tour, he was already at hospitals. Ah, that's ah. the shit that, that that you know the press never talked about. But he was okay, Eris. You know I love Michael Jackson. So mm-hmm. I got to save for somebody else. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was at the um, uh, he was uh, at the hospitals mm-hmm. recruiting. Oh Habibi firebombing got a missile to. If some robbers come through, then I guarantee they give it a lifestyle huge. This basic. <laughs> I need you to replay. I had, I had to. I no, had no, no, to. No, no. That's, that's, what, that's why I was doing this. Hard. That's why I was doing this. Like, go ahead, drop it. Eric, this is I, you. I, when I said that, here's you. Hey, so why don't you just say that? I mean, what the fuck? Every time I come over here, you only got to take me through this. <laughs> I love that. Where did you get that from? <laughs> My son says it's really homophobic as hell. That's all. <laughs> I don't know the whole thing. One day, my son, one day, my son, my <laughs> old son, I told him to do something. He's like, Dad, I don't know what you mean. And I said, blah, 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 do it. 
and he sent me back there. I died laughing. <laughs> you can't even get mad at your son after I that. I didn't like, even get mad at my son. The first thing I got, I was just up, the motherfucker say that. I, <laughs> I was like, also, D, also, boy, also, D, I said it wrong. But, but I also, D, boy no, but D, at the same time, also, that's how you know you cannot deny that's your kid. You can never deny that's your kid at that oh, point. Bro. It's like, that's your kid. That's your kid. It, it's well, let me kid. tell you something, Willie. I think that Obama, I think he's going to do stuff for the country. <laughs> if you ever want to talk about Barack Obama. You know, now, I'm not going to. I, like, I will have you know that I was the first one in line to vote for him the second time. It's crazy. Did you see how good the country was? <laughs> Obamacare, am I right? Well, like Willie, Willie, check this out. Look at this. Check this out. I still got my eye folded sticker. I really thought you was gonna say that stupid thing. Remember when uh I forgot what black person was killed was uh, killed by the police. Remember when white people were wearing safety pins as a way as you can talk to me type it of shit? Di- it wasn't Diallo, was it? It wasn't mm-hmm. Diallo. This was like in 2010. It was like before Freddie Gray. It was like something like that. And he had like these safety pins of white people like, we're in solidarity. Oh, with. shit. I Whoa. remember that. And Patrick Stewart had one. The company had it. That one white dude. I can't remember. I think Bradley Cooper did it. Of course Bradley Cooper did it. Um, <laughs> Liberals own like Bradley Cooper. Um, oh, yeah, but nah, um, but, uh, mm-hmm. but nah, uh, you... <laughs> I'm not gonna dive into the L Cool J Jamie Foxx thing because everybody is beating uh, that shit. Uh, to we're not death. gonna talk about that, but we will talk about this unhinged scene. This happened to me and Eris. Eris, I will. If, here's Eris. You know what, D? This is the problem I have. <laughs> here's the sick part. That is both you and you. That is both of y'all. That's both of y'all. And the fuck y'all would do some shit like this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because Eris, D, Eris will get dome on the toilet too. That, that's... Duck, t- Eris getting dome on the toilet and D arguing with the hookers, mm-hmm. spitting on them. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell y'all this scene. Eris, except Eris is saying whores while he's on the toilet getting dome. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. And the best thing about this, Eris. <laughs> I'm getting so sick of Chris beating me to the punch with my own catchphrase. Now, Eris, <laughs> Eris, everybody's, I know what people saying, dog, y'all toxic as hell. No, we're not. No, we're two black men. Not. We're two black men that love each other as brothers. And you need more of that. That in is this the world. most homoerotic this was the picture that you found. The, oh, yes, it this is. This was gay. But it was so straight. It was. <laughs> you ever see something that's so gay it leaps back into manly? That's what I'm... <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. You was just on the toilet getting head. You was just doing coke off of a girl's titty, and then you were spitting, slapping hookers upside the head. Y'all have just been. Ma- y'all just have been misogynistic and toxic hell, and y'all do. French kitten mwah, to each other. Black men need uh-huh. unity like that. That's black male unity. Black men loving each other for what they are. <laughs> oh, really? That Eris, if I could look up the most unhinged LL Cool J moment, I think it's that one. Oh, yeah, no, it that is. Was, oh, that was absolutely hard enough. done. That was pure unhinged. I know. I know a lot. Of oh, was it to... Jason Todd? Was his name? Uh, <laughs> Jason, uh, James, uh, James, uh, James. James. Uh, uh, James. Uh, James. No, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen. That was not. James Todd Smith. No, no. That was that was uh, the third album, Mr. Smith. Yeah, that Mr. was Mr. Smith. That was uh, Mr. somebody. Smith. You know. See, Lo- D, I hey, agree. Listen, listen, local Miami whore just met Mr. Smith with that spit. I uh, see D, D said that's unhinged, right? And a lot of people sat there and said that the most unhinged thing that L had done was when he, I forgot what video it was, he poured syrup on this chick's leg and licked it off in the middle of the damn street. I love huh. LL Cool J describing. Here's LL, like, yeah, yeah, that was pure 
unadulterated New York unhinged character right there. That was all me. Like, <laughs> yeah. 100%. Like, 100%. Chill. Even got the stamp of approval. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting so much miles out of fresh and fit and we're not even fresh and fit that's crazy i know right oh man but nah i, know, right? I like how willie y'all set that up for me though with the I, I, like, <laughs> I like how willie beeman has this girlfriend of six years that he did not want to commit to because why are you not committing? Uh, 1999, Layla uh, uh, Sir, 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 we call that prime Layla Rashad. Layla yeah. Yeah, prime. Still, I'm still putting it. I'm still stamping. Before she met Fuqua. Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you still stamping? What I missed? What happened? I said I'm still stamping years on yes. when we, you know, when oh, yeah, 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 tracking yeah. women. Yeah, Layla Rashad was looking uh, very deliciously. Deliciously, <laughs> deliciously, very, very delicious, <laughs> deliciously, an entire snack. Oh, yeah, very much a snack. Um, I gotta very... be honest with you guys, the forehead tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> you're, no, you're right, you're right. The forehead we're, we're, is like the tree rings. Well, all right, like tree rings. It's like the tree, it's like the roots of a tree for light skinned women. <laughs> She checks so, off all the boxes. She's a girl that's not really uptight, but she's also like, I ain't like football anyway. Ugh. I like, I like, I like, I like no, 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 the message. I ain't like football. <laughs> I like you. That's Here's the most light skin ass shit ever, man. I want to tell you also, bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Look, 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 look. You're allowed year one. Wait a minute. You play for the football team? Oh my god, you tripping. You're allowed to get away with that, but at the same time, what do you see me studying? What was the profession <laughs> that I told you I was? Like, like is, they, now, now they, the thing her, they wrote her like a movie girlfriend, which was, oh my god, your life that you always wanted to live. How dare you? Like, but the, I would say the Bible like, said this, they, 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 they did her, kind of right? go a little bit over like look. All of us are insecure in some way. So I wasn't, I think they went a little bit over the top with her insecurity. They did. They went because it's like he that. wasn't entertaining any of those women. It was just he got whisked away in all these things. And it's just, it just was what it was. And even later how on in the movie, he was, you, how do you, how dare you get to the goal that you always set for yourself? Thank you. <laughs> I got, I got, I, I do have something though. See, what I like to give um, the character of Willie Beeman here. I would like to put his character in the hands of of someone who would play Madden for the first time. Mm -hmm. You have no idea what play does what. You're just pressing X, square, or triangle. Randomize. Not, or randomize. No, 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 no. Hold on. Taking it back to Madden before randomize was a thing. You had no. to pick one of the three. So no, 98. No, no. I got you. Nah. 93. I got you. This is what happened. All right, man. Oh shit! What I do? What I do? What I do? Oh man! What I do? What I do? What I do? Uh, ah, ah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Willie was literally and in the early goings, just playing backyard football. Just like fuck it, I'm gonna make this shit up as I, I go. He like, was the way they did describe it. it backyard was, football, ninety Mad ninety three edition. Pretty much. Like, the, the one thing that they kind of overstated and try to make a real big deal, and it's weird how. In football is so off and on. Do you know how often guys throw up? That happens a lot in football. Especially okay. they tell you yeah. don't eat before the game because that Man. shit. And look at this yeah. nigga sitting over here eating damn Doritos and shit. I like how he was looking in the nigga. pig's head. I like how he Doritos. Was... You could this be... nigga. He was deep in the penny saver. I loved it. I love it. I mean, <laughs> was... to be fair to him. Your third string, you ain't playing, so of course you're gonna you're chill. And... I think that's a little like that. Okay, to be bro, honest with you, man, bust out the, the freaking party size bag. <laughs> I want you real, now, just see, going in. <laughs> now, to be honest with you, even in the late nineties, that would never fucking happen. Oh no, no, oh, the most, God. the most that is would never fucking happen. The most that's <laughs> happening, if you're third string, you're just sitting on the bench, just twiddling your thumbs, like, yeah, it's a nice game, it's great. I'm here. You're sitting on the bench. <laughs> 
No, you're sitting on the bench and you walk over there with uh what is it with with the joyful jug size uh mug filled with Gatorade from the stand over. <laughs> oh, See, that's me. That's me as a third string. I be hovering over the Gatorade thing, like man, this Gatorade is so good. <laughs> nah, the one joke you like down, you just load man. up on that shit with a big ass bottle. Like, fuck it, I ain't going back over here with this plastic ass this, cup. I'm just gonna that, this is the one thing they did cut down on, especially because the app the, the athletic trainers was going would go like, What the fuck are you doing? Is some players would go up, hey man, give me a soda, give me a soda. And the athletic trainer is like, you're full of Gatorade. What the fuck are you doing to your fucking pH balance and everything else right now? What are you doing? Like, mm -hmm. do, 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 do. you're carbo loading in the middle of a goddamn game. <laughs> I mean, it's, like, it's... They will freak out if you do anything like that. But I do like the comedy of it all. Like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Yo, he had his head on. Like, he on vacation. And it's like, Willie, get your ass in there. You're supposed to warm I up five equipment. minutes ago. Now, real, call, the, real talk, the equivalent will be like this. Beam it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Like, I mean, take my phone. <laughs> no, that was his ritual in the game. I like that. That was his ritual. He just throws up, and that's when you know Willie about to do some shit in this in this game. And I like how I like how a few years later, um black quarterback himself, Donovan McNabb, would throw up in the uh, throw up before the Super Bowl started. And and Terrell Owens, who was in this movie. About a black quarterback in the same type of position, said he a pussy. Well, Terrell always and Irving Frayer. Nigga. But no, here's the here's the here's the go. Terrell. Terrell. T.O. T.O. Why? Why? Timothy. Like, 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 <laughs> speaking of which, anyway, anyway, I love the fact that on T.O. Just said that shit like, uh, but he threw up and all that. And I remember hearing like everybody throws up in football. <laughs> I mean, like I, I did, I did enjoy the football, but like I said, Oliver Stone pulling Oliver Stone. Hey, dog, nobody's eyeballs get popped out of the head in football. I'm okay, sorry, that's wait, that's. I'm thinking, yeah, you could get a poke severely. Yeah. Oh, I think you can. Like it can push like. On. Somebody can push their full finger up your shit and bust your whole shit and all that. I've so heard like, of your eye partially coming out of its socket from a I heard hit, about but not that. like out the fucking right. out your fucking skull or anything that it's was just... more of combat that was <laughs> like, come on, commentator priceless oh, it looks like he has a he eye injury damage to his eye uh, hey hey because <laughs> because life is a circle Eris. i mean chris you know who that announcer was right it was jim nance you know who he is? You know who he, do you know who he was with you know who he goes with Tony Romo, Tony Romo, how was your come up in the NFL? Just like Willie Beeman. He was the second string quarterback and got mm -hmm. all the yada, yada, yada. And remember, by week four, everybody in Dallas is like, give this motherfucker sponsorships. Give this dude everything. Give him the monies. <laughs> give him the money. Give it all of it right now. You know? Like, I remember all, that shit. So it's kind all, of funny. Like I said, life is weird. You know? God, this and, all, like, all, shit. and all he did. Was just press B on the Genesis controller. <laughs> Every play was hitting B. Oh, now, that, that's what it felt like for like now. Like Willie, they did show a good progression, at least a decent progression. I would have liked six games instead of a quick four, but you know what? Whatever, you know, time constraint. You can only do so much. You know, I can I can believe that shit. <laughs> First off, your depth profession would be fucked as a defensive lineman with one eye. Eris, you want to know a you want to know a gnarly situation. You want to know a yeah, I guess he didn't see that one. No, nah, not even that. You know what it is? It's the obscured vision that you get when you play as uh when you play as like when you play as naked snake throughout the rest of, of the victorious. I'm sorry, Operation Snake Eater. You know when you pull out that freaking sniper rifle, or when you aim it and suddenly this side of the screen is completely black. Yeah, disadvantage now. <laughs> the no, check wide, man, your blind spot just. Woof, do you want to know something now, Eric? Do you want to know about a? Do you want to know about a gnarly injury that didn't happen in football, but it had consequences in football? Mm -hmm. What? This one dude. His name was Jason. Ah, right, y'all, y'all gonna like this. This joke is gonna be good. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> Jason Pierre-Paul blew his hand up 
over M4. Well, not M4, whatever was the M80. 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 He blew his head up with the M80. And he technically has like it's it's not like all the way like this. It's like you know, like a, he, he has special gloves. He has special, he gloves. he has special gloves that gloves, cut man. the fingers. Me and D were in tears because the jokes were flying on Twitter. And everybody, the to... hey, Eris, do you remember Carl Weathers <laughs> and Happy Gilmore? <laughs> That's all the jokes. That was 80% of the damn jokes. <laughs> bro, when you told me what happened with his hand, I'm like, bro, he got the official Ninja Turtle. <laughs> they over there, Brandon, Don't do it, Daddy. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace and love, man. Peace and love. Who got pizza? Dude, JPP was catching all sorts Blue of 32. That's just as worse as uh, what's-his-face that shot himself in the <laughs> Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Three-point stands. You know they did that. You know they dude, made fun of him. That's just they as worse. Three-point stands. You know they did. That's just as worse as uh, that boy on the Giants that fucking cheddar bobbed himself. With the gun. Oh, Plexico. The Plexico <laughs> shot himself. Yo, okay. No, no. That was different. That was different. Plex was in the day. Plex was in the club. Plex was in the club, and that was during the time. Look, we're all millennials. We all lived through that damn time. <laughs> you know how it was. Lean back. Lean back came on. You had to be a gangster. So, you know. <laughs> lean back and shot himself. I'm like, bro. Lean, bro and nigga lean back with the safety off. That nigga wheezied himself. I didn't understand <laughs> that shit, yo. This is so great. <laughs> but nah, bro. The shit that had me in tears. He's promoting the fucking protein shake and shit. That shit. And, and, he Deion Sanders video music with the damn protein shit. Will he be even? I get the ladies. I keep him creamy. Hey, 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 Jamie. The most cut you was. I know this because you did the little uh, like that. Here's the sick part. Here's the sick part. That's Eris doing a video like that. I see it. I just, it's, Boy, it's, it reeks I of Eris to do some shit like that. It's like, I'm Eris. Eris Waterman. <laughs> And I get the girls. They, and I had the girls all watered, man. Nigga, we'll fix it in post. Nigga, we'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. Nigga, the, <laughs> nigga, the name is right there. Critical weeds. <laughs> Critical weeds. <laughs> they call me Sue. <laughs> Tsunami. <laughs> It ain't even protein shakes. He's promoting like I don't know, bang energy drink. I don't fucking know. Oh, it Hell no! It oh, it's definitely going to be bad. No, it wouldn't be. You ain't Harris. Harris, no, you a no, third. No, no. Harris, you are a third string quarterback. You're not saying no to ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> again, I'm a third string quarterback. It's not bang. It's the uh, it's the shittier one. Rain. Ah, yes. <laughs> I feel that rain. No bullshit. I feel that rain. Sponsorship sponsor guys who sponsor rain are like dirt or guys that drive or do dirt bikes and they're like, You ever drink this shit? Fuck no. <laughs> like, hell no. Like, hell no. I, like, like this is like oh I've man. had rain before. Like, no, I've had rain before. Trav- me. Travis Pastrana getting sponsored by rain, and it's like, Travis, do you like rain? Fuck no. Mm-mm. I feel like <laughs> third string quarterbacks today, Celsius. Hey, oh my god, man, that, man. That, that's second string, sir. <laughs> second string, sir. That's right. Second string, you're right. That's Celsius second string money. Is, no, no, Celsius is second, even though Celsius is like better than Monster. And that's what I was shit. saying to Chris. I was like, yo, at least Fitzpatrick got a Hertz commercial, but he was second string, the exactly, exactly. but he was second string with charisma. So I could believe he could get something a little bit better than that. And he did, I forgot what else he got. He did direct TV, he did something else, but I did, but I did like the progression of Willie. Like, oh, again, obviously, the character arc and stuff. He's, he's and also, Eric, and also, and also, Chris, we have learned that it doesn't take you don't need a lot of talent to have a lot of sponsorships. <laughs> Man had a whole ass. 
<laughs> Baker Mayfield last is commercial. still making money off of Hulu, off of Direct Ooh. TV. I think he still. I don't think he got Subway no more. I think they get it. No, no, no. I think they get it. No, no, no. Let's be real. <laughs> Subway's a little nuclear right now. You can't touch Harris. that. Right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, Ares. I just I just had Subway last week. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. I just walked in there. Found a coupon in my back pocket. I'm like, oh shit, I can get a, like, I can get like, I get a foot long for like for sir, six bucks. Sir, sir, go. sir, take your ass to Jimmy John's. All right, Jesus, <laughs> too far. Fair, fair, fair. Too far. Right. <laughs> Too far. Gross, sir. Gross. I mean, see, Jersey Mike's, I would have went, but I was in the opposite direction. I'm like, yeah. I don't feel like it. Well, firehouse my, house, my, my house is over here. Or firehouse subs, you know. Ew. Actually, I've never been to firehouse subs. Firehouse sub is fire. It's great. Firehouse sub is great. <laughs> no pun intended. Gross, gross, gross. That is dangerously close to 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 to, to, to Baker Mayfield. All right, Eris, real quick. Uh-huh. Baker Mayfield is was a beast in college. He was a real good he was a real good co- quarterback in college. His first year in the NFL, everybody said, "Wow, Baker, you're you you're amazing." Did he get rookie of the year? No, he didn't get rookie. No, he didn't get rookie year. He did pretty rookie. good as rookie season. But he had a good first season. After that, errors, he sucked, 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 and now he is painfully mid. Oh no, no! But here's the thing, errors. He got a sec. He he got a second life when he flew on the plane to the Rams and won him a game on a Monday night, and Boy, he was a legendary afterwards. After dick, that, big dick yeah. swinging with all two hundred and eighty yards, nigga. <laughs> You know, you don't understand. Yo, because the, 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 the same victory dance he did when he got that $25,000 uh, check for full throttle. Really? Oh, my God. Bro. Man. But no, mm-hmm. Willie Beam's character arc, it's its the typical, you know, he got a big head after the game. And, you know, he's getting humbled. He's in a rain game, which I got to say, watching NFL games back in the 90s in the rain, it was always wild how messy them games could go because it could go either way. And when it goes like on the other side, pff, done. The <laughs> is a power man. Show <laughs> power is I, great. I ain't gonna lie. Power, power no, no, great. no. Angie has convinced me that power aid is nothing more. She has convinced me that power aid is nothing more. I saw Korean. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. He said that basically that video. If I'm doing that video, add a bunch of Korean chicks. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Power Aid, Angie's convinced me that Power Aid is nothing more than flavored flavor, water. But yeah, flavored water with a with a with a with a splash of mildewed lime. So That's what you're what saying is. is it's the uh Dasani of uh of, of, of drinks. No, I think that's the little Pedialyte, that, that little sport Pedialyte is trying to push. I'm like, no, this is well, just water, man. Okay. Don't that sports that. Pedialyte more so works for people that are that do hour long gym sessions and need their fucking electrolytes and shit. That's that's what that shit's for. If you try to drink it regularly, <laughs> it's like, what the hell is this shit? At that, point, <laughs> at that point, they're just downing nothing but vault energy drink. Pretty much, but Willie Beam's character arc of like he's arrogant and the team doesn't trust him. Man, those monsoon games though, man. Like every now and then you get a monsoon game where it's like, yo, monsoon oh, and snow games. Monsoon, monsoon and snow games are the two games. Snow games probably more so than the monsoon games. I enjoy because you know it's just nothing but run game the whole time. It ain't gonna the, be no like, throwing. Like, it's funny, like like watching. I tell this to everybody: watch one top tier, watch one top tier soccer game where they're playing in the snow, and it's like these niggas they be going for it. You know, everybody's cold, so they super running everywhere. All the rest of that, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. Football, I hate it in the snow. I hate watching football, football in the snow because it's like I feel every ugh. When they hit the ground, all the cold is like, uh, I could, I couldn't. You know? So when it's like piled up, like when they be having it, like in um Buffalo, we'd be like ten inches of snow outside, <laughs> and they're still playing football. I think that's the most ridiculous crap in the world. But nah, right? that that game, it's like at that point, when you get puddles, bro, that's when I hate it. Because don't, 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 don't they don't they now stop those? 
Don't it's they stop we, those games when they have puddles, basically? Sometimes, most yeah. of the time, sometimes. But it, but it matter what you know. I think it would really matter on the drainage of the of the of the uh, fucking surface anyway. To be, I'm honest, do they stop it if you know if they're playing on uh, grass or, or turf? Now, see, that's another thing. Me and Chris was talking about this a lot too long ago. And it's actually because everybody's using artificial turf or grass turf, which is the thing pretty about much going back to grass now. So flat, you know, flat, flat surface. That but flat that, surface, and you getting hit by <laughs> like, a, like I said, two fifty to three hundred something pound dudes. It's one thing to get hit would, by them, but then when you get hit by them and you get smacked that that, that like you okay. smacking that turf as hard as hell. No, there, no, there hasn't. There no. hasn't, but like leading up to it, all because again, you think back to the back in the days when they play football, there was always those big ass snow games, but never in the Super Bowl. It's kind of wild. Nah, they always make especially sure the time of the year the Super Bowl is. You would think. Yeah, they make sure that's always like a Florida or in a dome. The closest say, they, they came they really to keep it. Super Bowls inside of domes. Yeah, yeah. most yeah. of the time, most or the tropical most areas, you know, California and, and all that. Closest stuff. they came to it actually. They have it in Dallas too, but that's still a dome. Yeah, that's still a dome. It's an anomaly. <laughs> but, but that being said, though, even with um, even when the, the closest they came to it was, I think it was when the Redskins went against the um their last Super Bowl was was uh Minnesota, they had it up in Minnesota. Yeah. Outside the stadium is like Minnesota snow, you know, eight inches, eight eight feet of snow. You know what I mean? Yeah. But there was still a Super Bowl going on. That's the most. That's the closest they came to that shit. They was really afraid there was nobody going to show up to the Super Bowl because of that. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. But other than I, 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 I laugh. Willie lost the team. The team is just letting him get sacked. He's getting fucked Boy, up. Ain't nothing worse. That game. That game. You can tell the worse. team gives up on the game, game was, on the quarterback. Thirty-eight to seven. That's when they sirs, lost. Sirs. That that game was nothing but humble. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's on top of them. Uh, LT. Both uh, sides was serve. Both sides was serving humble pie to Jamie. That, that that's on and top that's, of them cutting his car in half and shit. So, and the reason why is because <laughs> well, Jamie been talking shit. Yeah, because Jamie did something that everybody knows. Every, like this is what a little bit thought to me. Like, okay, only in a football movie they would do this shit because everybody knows if you're an offensive player, you don't talk shit about the defense. No. Nope. You never talk shit about the defense. This is the football equivalent. This is the football equivalent of never piss off people that handle your food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Has that been happening before? Oh, you best believe. There are we have seen times, Chris, where we've seen quarterbacks like, I'm calling out the defense because they need to step it up just like us. Like we lost this game, but there's no need for blah 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 blah. Like we have seen Peyton Manning come full chest. Oh no, defense fucked up. What you want looking at me for? <laughs> like we have Troy seen Aikman that. Has done that too. <laughs> Troy Aikman, like like the best what I see was look. I have seen Tony Romo had to give the cat meme look of that <laughs> for years because he didn't want to blame the defense, right? <laughs> but here comes Josh <laughs> Allen. <laughs> Defense did it. I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> we have seen. We look. Remember, look, remember Cam Newton? I don't play defense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cam just kept that shit simple. I don't play defense. I don't know what you're talking we about. I did my job. So many times, man. I'm like, dog saying, I did my job, man. But here's the thing that gets me. I get that in moments like that. Why would you be in a man's house? In his house to say that shit. That Type mm-hmm. of shit. After Eris, Eris, think about it, Eris. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Think about it, Eris. Think about it. Here's the worst part. You know the worst part of for me? Yes, it's an insult to me. You're in my house doing this. But you know what I did when you came in my house? Hey, blowjobs are upstairs. The threesomes are downstairs. If you <laughs> don't hey, come on the sheets, my wife come home on yeah, Monday. My wife come <laughs> home on Tuesday. All my right. Man, my man's rules was real simple. No semen, no blood. That's a very simple rule there. We're gonna you know. This whole whole place. I got cleaners for that shit. My wife ain't gonna know we did nothing in this month. Uh, meanwhile, redneck defensive lineman got a fucking just crazy house with two dogs in the cage over in the corner and shit. Okay. Like, two dogs in the cage. What three kids? Three kids running around. Wife is plus a pregnant wife. I'm like, sir, I get it. 
This Back in the awesome. day, that's how Lime got paid. They got paid on regular, regular standard wages. I'm like, sir, I get it. He had a nice house, but it's like, fuck, man. Three kids and a fourth one away. I God hate, damn. Look, look, when I talk, I really hated how stereotypical he was. You know? It was. Yes, it was. you got crazy white dudes like that, but that's more defenders are like that. Because mm-hmm. defenders are like that because offensive linemen, they're like, well, come on, guy. They're the big soft guy. They're the big soft guy pushing around 500 pounds of pressure. You know what I mean? Stop, stop. There, there, there was nothing, there was nothing soft about a man walking around with a freaking headbangers, uh, face paint, and having nerve, the unmitigated gall to be like, I'll be right back. You bring in a baby gator in the locker room while the dude while everybody's in the shower. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Not only is that some white people shit, because that really is. Yeah, that's yeah. some shit that you, that that's shit you would see in Jackass. That's, that's country white boy shit. Country white boy shit. Do you know what that also was? That's uh, no. Go Welcome ahead. Booking the, f- the football. <laughs> it was football. There are stories of guys doing wacky shit like that. Baseball is worse. Baseball. Is psychotic, but football has some. I'm sorry, y'all did what? All right, good example, Eris. This motherfucker showed up to practice the next day, no pants, <laughs> still rolling from the night before. What happened to your pants, LT? The hooker took it. <laughs> Don't get changed. Don't get changed, Lawrence. It's like God damn Lawrence, God I damn would, it, Lawrence. I really wanted. I'm a I really like. Why you trying to get like, like, like? Tell me, LT. Why you trying to get home? I, I, I gotta get <clears> home, <throat> man. Why? Why you get home? Why you go? You know, I found the totem. I'm trying to get my eight ball, man. Could you imagine? Like, could you? Did, really, did he get the eight ball? You, the Giants won that day. I think you did. <laughs> could you imagine again? That, that was just a gator, and I get it, Miami. Just imagine somebody else is crazy enough to, you know, because they got to have a bunch of exotic animals and shit. Somebody just rolls in and be like, ah, King Cobra. What Son, do you want to play baseball? Dun, dun, dun. Stop. Eris, Eris, Stop. And again, the shenanigans that go on in baseball are psychotic. Guys will leave dead, dead animals <laughs> in each other's own lockers. Oh, no, 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 that's one. Somebody that's... threw somebody threw a monkey in a locker room. Everybody was scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what, no, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, D. No, make it make matters worse, right? You take a king cobra, yeet it into the locker, like in the shower, where every like every while everybody's taking a shower, shut off the light. Oh damn! Yeah, them, them, That's them. almost the equivalent of that the jackass skit them. with the tape. That is the jackass skit. <laughs> is, oh, wait a minute, aren't those things poisonous? <laughs> Eris, I got one for you, and I got it. I'm gonna blast through this story. It's a baseball story. Uh, new manager? No, I don't think it was a new man. Was it a manager or was it a? It was a manager or was it the um, player? I think I don't know what it was. Let's just say for manager in this one. I don't, I'm not really sure. But the manager, he goes to a ball. He, he uh, he's he had a long day. Of, it was a long day. They lost, whatever, whatever. And the players kind of don't like this motherfucker. I think it was a pitcher, actually. Yeah, it was a pitcher, actually. The players didn't like this motherfucker. So they said, we're going to make a rip. We're going to do a rib on this motherfucker. So basically what happens, he gets to his hotel room, Eris. Everything's mm-hmm. completely dark. Everything's completely dark, right? He turns on the light. It's not turning on. He turns him, not turning on. He walks around trying to fumble around for something. He doesn't see nothing. There's nothing there. He puts his hand on the wall. He, he puts his hand on the wall. To, he puts his hand on the wall to uh, grab the phone. There's no dial tone. He hangs it up. He goes into the bathroom. His mattress, chairs, and everything else are stuffed into the shower. He then tries to get out the door. It's locked. He can't get out. He tries to get on the side door. He can't get out. And all he hear is laughing. And he's in complete darkness. Baseball 
is full of psychopaths. <laughs> psychopaths. Granted, that was the seventies, but that shit still goes down in baseball. I tell you what, there's, psychopath. There's a hundred plus games you got to go through in baseball. Do you want to know the boring shit that goes through all of it? I tell you what, psychopath. My man was on IV and was like, "I gotta take a shit." Doctors come that. with me in the I bathroom. That. I love that. I asked him. Um, I asked him. Uh, I had to ask him. Um, a couple of people, I, uh, a couple of one person I know, he don't play football all that because we was talking about this movie, and he was like the one scene that he really like was the shit. Where he was like, You're like you know how many how many times we play? I like I play. We be like, oh right, yo, we about to go back out on the field. Hey coach, I gotta take a shit. Boy, why you talking to me? <laughs> It's like that shit in Creed when he about the box. He's like, take out the bullets. I got to take a shit. I got to take a shit. <laughs> you want to know something funny? The One of the best things ever in sport. Who was that that fake that they was hurt, but they shit on themselves? Oh, that was uh, Lamar. Lamar fake that he got injured, went in the but back, took himself. a dump. He, he hey, he no, no. no, no, no. He had to actually take a shit. So he faked that he had like an injury on his leg. Oh went yeah, in the that, back, oh, yeah. Took no. a dump. No, I'm talking to basketball where there had to be two people to carry oh. this nigga out. Oh. Who was um, that? Um, um, your boy for the Celtics, um, Paul Pierce. Paul, yeah, that was Paul Pierce. And Paul's so like, where have I shit myself? <laughs> 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 I'm over there like, ah, oh, oh, my bad. But you came out like nothing. What happened? I shit myself. So I just faked it like I was hurt. <laughs> So what did you say? Like, oh, God damn, yo, man, I shit myself. (laughs) God, take a bath. (laughs) Eris, the best one is the wrestlers. The wrestlers talking about them shit in their pants are always the best ones. Oh, (laughs) But anyway, I'm not going into it. But no, but uh, what I like, uh, me and D talked about this. Um, It was one of the seasons that uh, when Dallas had pulled the comeback for the season to get a winning record and got to the playoffs, and D was Mm -hmm. like, we're almost about to pull. (laughs) <laughs> the Randy <laughs> Dennis Quaid and Andy Gideon Vicente. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> what was it? Oh, uh, yeah. Because he had a chance to get back and Romo wasn't ready. It was like, no, this is Dak's team now, Romo. And that's what we talked about, Eris. We had to see that same type of power. I seen that. We seen that like several. I mean, he played where... against the Philly in the last game, and everybody's like, I guess Romo's back. And Romo's like, ah, I'm retiring. I'm out. No, I'm done. no. We're about to go to the playoffs. <laughs> This is his team. We have seen that in so many different words. That's why I was kind of like, I understood why the wife was like, nigga, this is still your team. You ain't gave up that spot yet. And I went, honey, I'm right on uh-huh, my back. Take your, take your pills first, baby, before you start doing it. <laughs> hey, she had that cut. Like I said, she Get had that, that perk come, before you go out there. <laughs> she had that come to Jesus moment when she saw him tasting purple and was like, yeah, I guess he's uh, done. Nah, he's but your done. boy, Kurt Eris, your boy. Like, how the hell you knew that this dude, if he gets hit one more time, he'll be, he'll be he'll paralyzed. Be, he'll, he'll be paralyzed. Look, I have to tell you everything I want to tell you. But oh, the, the guy had to stay out there on the field. What you want me to do? <laughs> James Woods said, was pure James Woods. When he, when he said, and I quote, you, uh, you, you ever have a, you ever have a dream? I'm living it, sir. <laughs> Right, whatever. All right. Sandy, come on. Come on. Let's go. No. No. I'm gonna I'm stay mentioned. with here. I'm gonna stay over here. Yeah, you're yeah, going five, ahead five, and get five, fucked five. with all yeah. these Neanderthals. Get buck fucked by 15 Neanderthals, bitch. <laughs> like, bro. Now, like, let me tell you something. Was that penis envy? You goddamn right. That was penis envy. Of course it was. There ain't oh, no way to get around that. Now, D, yes. Was James Woods really talking to a girl he was going out with in this movie, and he she, and Oliver Stone just caught them breaking up? <laughs> yeah, quite possible. Yeah, yeah. James Woods has a history. He oh yes, he does. Every woman likes that. Yes, likes he does. That. Um, Family Guy even made a joke about it, saying that the reason why Jennifer Tilly or motherfucking Family Guy talks that way is because James Wood punched her in the throat. Yeah, damn, that was a great joke. You're like, wait a minute, you sound like that because James would punch you? No, I sound like, no. <laughs> he punched me because I do sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my thing. James Woods probably did chomp Jennifer Tilly dead in the throat. I, I, I just want to see if you still talk that way. <laughs> Come on, sleep with me. 
I like how I like I like how they had that conversation with LT and he was like, Hey dog, if you get hit, you're gonna be paralyzed. He's like, Come on, coach, this is football. I'm one sack away from actually getting a million from from actually like basically he said, he said I need three tackles and a sack, and I get and, my bonus. And that's the thing, people don't realize too in football, there are incentives. Some oh, yeah. are reasonable and some are just bad shit fucking insane. Yeah, and always and it, it always falls on your agent how bad shit of that thing you can do. Like some people is just really like points and all the rest of that. So it, like it really fucking, all matters what your incentive is. So, you know what some I mean? of them incentives look like fucking Madden achievements that you gotta cheat to fucking get the achievements. Oh for. hell yeah. <laughs> and that goes into the whole point of the of uh, LT over there, like, hey man, come on, man, give me a shot, baby. Give me I mean, shot. even like, LL was even LL LL was like, I need, way, I need to get two, I need to get two thousand yeah. yards in order to get my pay bump. And the, yeah. this, this nigga over here ain't fucking passing the ball. What the fuck, like you know, like the hell. Yeah, LL. and that, and oh yeah, and that starts fights too because sometimes you want a bummy team. I'm gonna at least go and get these numbers. Hey, quarterback, can I get the ball more? Fuck you. Okay then. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Say something stupid in the locker room. I'm fucking you up, nigga. <laughs> you fucking with my money at that point, yeah? That, that like, I say that creates less hostility now, but it's always going to be hostility because dudes are going to want to hit they fucking, whatever that fucking quote is, they want to hit that shit, yeah? Yep. And I think that, I think that's the fucked up thing about sports, but here's the thing, it's needed for a contract like that. Yeah, you want to say that you achieved some shit. So of course not. Man, but anyway, not but, just to say you want to achieve yeah. something, but to like back again on LL's point, nigga, I'm trying to get paid. Mm-hmm. And there was a turn. He was like, he remember when they was going through all the team. We was saw all the people like, 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 yeah, he like he's a he's a leader. I always had him for years. He's like, what about and when he mentioned LL's character, I'm like, oh, he's a like he's a no man. He's a he's a mercenary. He's a merc. And here's the funny thing. Back in the day, a lot of coaches hated that. That players like L, at least in this case, LL Cool J was no, I'm trying to, like you said, I'm trying to get paid. Who's paying me the most? Who's going to give me the most of X, Y, Z, or the rest of that shit? What we're going through in sports right now, where we're for a while after that was free agency and players making more money. And now they're at the point, not in the NFL, really in the NFL, they got more freedom now, but like in the NBA, they hate it in the NBA right now because every, every player has a fucking say so. And every white person is like, can't you just play the game of basketball like, <laughs> and not be so selfish? And then when you look at it from the player standpoint, it's like, no, I trained my whole life to play this game. Pay me. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. I get, it, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it, buddy. I, like, I just think it's kind of funny, though, know, that Ella Cool J was sitting, on the, sitting in the stands and that little kid saying, hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, LL was like, hey little kid, hey, hey little boy, you want to go over to see your mom or something, son? <laughs> Watch him. Why you why you talking to me like that? <laughs> he said, You trying not to get hurt. I'm like, yeah. I think that's funny because I think players get that a lot from people. And not to say that they're lying, but sometimes I'm like, nah, man, I ain't that ain't true. That ain't true. You scared, ain't you? Nigga? So, nigga, you scared. <laughs> Keep it like, like, a, like a Bill Bellaby right there, like this. You scared, ain't you, nigga? Okay, that last game where 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 Sanders hit me, yeah, yeah, man. I'm just trying not to get hurt, man. I'm trying to make it to the end of the season. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it. Trying just to maintain trying to out here in the streets. I think, I look, but I think, I look, but like, I look, I look, you're like, he's a mercenary. I'm like, damn, that's how you see it, nigga. But but that's how, I, like I said, right now everybody. You, anybody that stays on a team for a lo- for longer than five seasons, I think that that means you're going <laughs> tenure. You know, yeah, you got tenure I, or some or something like. I that, mean, yeah. like I like, but th- the thing about this movie that had me roll is like again, you have the coach that's been there for like thirty years, been coaching for thirty years, and then like you got 
We didn't talk Cameron Diaz as the owner who was. I was just about to bring up Cameron Diaz. She was pulling some Jerry Jones shenanigans on trying to like get some money for the new stadium. No, no, no. She was pulling some whoever the owners of of the St. Louis Rams were pulling to get up out of St. Louis. Uh I don't know the full story, but the way they fucked the city of St. Louis, yeah. They, now they now they only got the blues. <laughs> oh, they got the blues. At least the blues won a won, won a Stanley Cup not too long ago. Hey, I tell you, if only if only she had just waited a couple of years, she would have met one Vincent Kennedy McMahon <laughs> who, who would have uh, propositioned her uh spot with the XFL. <laughs> and here's the sad thing. Vince with the, all those owners of the NFL, they was like, nigga, no. <laughs> nigga, no. Get out of my face. Get <laughs> this shit out of my face, Vince. God, you're not a super millionaire like me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to Clifton Davis, who basically probably snitched her out to the owners. because You like, know he did. I, I like how fucking, uh, uh, um, fucking uh, what's his face? Um, Charlton Heston was like, Madam, uh, are you uh, free on Wednesday? Because uh, the owners want to have a meeting with you. In New York. In New York. It's like, that ain't good. It's like word, like word around the campfire is certain moves were made on your behalf. <laughs> that Let woman, people go. That woman would eat her young. <laughs> that was great. We're cold. She will let go of this this. this this franchise from a cold Who dead. Did. <laughs> I gotta I, tell you, I, we like geeks are happy to tell you this is our first Chuck Heston movie. <laughs> I, I I wanted to point out, um, I, you know, you know, like how you said earlier, uh, CJ, that uh, Oliver Stone is like an enigma. You know, he's 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 interesting, right? Yeah. You can see that this is clearly the end of the 90s with this movie. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. from how it's shot, how it looks. like The music. Not even, first of all, the soundtrack, Fire. killing it. Absolutely killing it. Second of all, uh, no, just like going back to the way that they shot the movie, I, mm, good Lord, you could play a drinking game. For every close-up, you have to take a sip. Yeah. Yep. Because this movie was flooded. With- I mean, that's oh. Oliver Stone's shtick. He got some close-ups when something, some shit goes down and stuff. Like, the coach. Your, right, it's close-ups. Your eyes are going to tell the story. It, it's close-ups when nothing threatening is even happening. It's just a regular-ass conversation in the kitchen. Well, and- like, that conversation with Pacino and um, Jamie about, like, you know, basically. That was the a- only bit of symbolism I kind of got. Like, okay, the two. Over sharing no. race, I gotta mm-hmm. get it. No, no, no. The, first of all, that whole scene was on ADHD because oh, was because I'm seeing. I clips, like the. I loved. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm seeing clips of Ben Hur. I think that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, it was Ben Hur. Like I'm seeing clips. Ironically, of ben, given who's in the movie, <laughs> right? I'm seeing clips of Ben Hur. I'm seeing. Fucking planes flying. I'm seeing the sun setting and shit. I'm seeing football stands. I'm seeing. You see, I, oh like, yeah, like oh, everything yeah. was like 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 flashing in and out of the of the scene. I'm like, God, I'm getting whiplash just watching this. Oh my god! And the one part that gets me, it always gets me because it looks so cheap to me. And it's the one point where he's. I forgot. I forgot the line that leads into it. And you see Jamie go like this. You see the thunder, and you see a zoom out. You see yeah. Ben Hur. It's all like, who do you think you're talking to? It zooms out, goes oh, over here. I like the shit stay in the last. Stay in one fucking the shit spot. in the the shit in the last game that Jamie won in the playoffs, where it's lightning and he's just staring. And I'm like, is there like three seconds going on here? What the fuck is going on here? Is he running? With, why is he yeah. staring off? And I mean, and you know, and I get the symbolism because it goes from. He just sees nothing but white people in the stands, and then all of a sudden it transforms into he sees regular fans now and stuff. And I'm like, 
I it's guess I get the symbolism. This is like, all right. He, listen, he saw the sim. I mean, he saw the symbolism of the lightning because if you blink, you'd have missed it. Because right behind that lightning was that freaking skull face from uh, Hurricane Heist. <laughs> it was. That being said, this is a good prime time for D to bring this up. I did have this on DVD, and I did see the behind the scenes, and it will shock to none of you. Eris, you know what they did? They pulled a move that I always say, you do that every now and then for some people. Oliver, have you watched football? Nope. No. Do you like football? After really. doing this film, not I have, after doing this film, I have high respect for football players. I think their their sport is this this. I think it's very exciting. I understand this, but no, I don't care for no, it. No, I'm good. But you made a football movie. Yeah. So do you think you can talk about football? Why I'm a director. About, it's like this. Let's see. I talked about journalism and football. Talked about how old football coaches are getting past saying they want to bring in new coaches that want to bring in this thing called ontolytics. Um, <laughs> which is funny because that was Aaron Ecker. Aaron Ecker yeah, was worried Aaron. by the numbers. He was like, coach. You do realize that this, 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 this. Here's the funny thing, Eris. Analytics is kind of taking over way too much in the sport right now. That's what the NBA is going through right now is way too analytical. But uh -huh. that took over as the. It's kind of funny. That's when I remember there was a pushback back there, like, oh, don't. It's got to be. You got to have the experience. Now it's like <clears throat> uh, what we're seeing in Miami, Chris. What we're seeing is like, um, do do do. These are the all these got an eighty percent uh, success rate. All mm -hmm. right, let's go by that. You know what I'm saying? Money it, shot like, this. It's like like they brought it like it brings up all these he he brought up all these different issues. Even the one that I really liked that the whole the fight was there was you do realize like 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 like, like you sound like every other coach. You could be like that one coach that like that one coach in Houston didn't like my arm. They didn't, didn't, didn't like no black quarterback. Then I went over here. I got my shoulder like, went over here. They changed my position to cornerback. I'm over here tackling 250 pound men. I don't know how to do it. We don't do that shit. <laughs> which is errors. Here's the thing. That is when you play football, and I told that to my son. My son still haven't figured out what he want to do. I say, when you tackle somebody, you'll know if you want to do it. I tackle somebody, and I was like, this is what I want to fucking do. I mean, that's, that's like, I didn't want to catch the ball no more. I didn't want to run with the ball. I'm like, I want to hurt somebody. Well, I mean, that's what I but even then, though, like, when you think about, like, for instance, like, for the longest time, like, for Tim Tebow, right? Yeah. There were a lot of us, me included, that sat there and said, Tim Tebow will make a great tight end. That you can't. Here's the thing about that. You go from that's a different position. He it's had the totally height, he has the build, position. he has the speed, he could be a fucking monster tight end. Tim Tebow was like, No, nah, I'm a quarterback. I'm gonna fucking stick with this shit. I'm like, remember we did remember, Godspeed, remember, dude, remember, sir. Sure. Remember we tried? Remember we tried what happened? <laughs> It don't work for everybody. Tyson Hill, Tyson Hill, it works for him. Why? Because I played this in college, bro. Oh, yeah, Taysom, yeah, Taysom, yeah, Taysom Hill. Yeah. Taysom was like this. Dude, I ran this in college. I can do this shit. So he can drop to a fullback, drop two over to a tight end, and still get behind center, down set hut, and do all that shit. Jameis Winston, we're going to we gonna make you a safety. Why? Because I like your size as a, as a, as a quarterback. And it, but you will be really good in this position. Why? Because you can run very well. Do you know how many quarterbacks, black quarterbacks, were destroyed by that logic? I'm not even joking, Eris. There was a afterwards. bunch of there was a bunch of them right before 2000s that I played. Yeah, I played quarterback in college. Would you play in the NFL? Wide receiver. <laughs> It's like you go from this to that. Charlie Ward was like that. Remember they tried uh -huh. to have Charlie Ward. Charlie, I'm going to basketball, nigga. And he actually played <laughs> basketball. So it's like, it's like, it's like all the issues that Jamie brought up was the truth. Everything he told him, like you like every other white coach. Even then, like, they're like, remember they in the hood and your right. mom's ringing the dinner bell. Like that shit at me. I, I did like, I did like um, Al saying, uh, now you're gonna play the race card on me. 
I mean, I like the fact that he he checked him on that. Like, look, kid, I ain't racist. Like, what the fuck you doing? Like, I, I know this game. I've been around the block. I know what you're doing. And I doing. know kids you know. like you. I yeah, seen I, 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 I've like seen you. this shit before. Don't do this. I, I do like that Jamie, you know, it, it, he was like, all right, I'm going to let him cook. I'm going to let him cook. Said all the shit he need to say. He got quiet and walked up and said, you. All right, goddamn quarterback. <laughs> yeah. And and here's the thing. Here's the thing. We have seen quite a few quarterbacks that needed that speech right there. You know why? You're the leader. Mm-hmm. When you're a quarterback, Eric says the weirdest thing that even when they tried to change it up in the NFL, it's an undeniable fact. If you're the quarterback, you are the leader de facto leader of the team and sometimes and it means something and sometimes it you can see <laughs> and sometimes you can see the progression of a quarterback like we saw Dak like Dak I'm not saying Dak ever lost the locker room but you yeah. can see his leadership started building up over his career yeah that, it takes trust it takes yeah. you getting your ass kicked and it takes you getting up from that shit is there, there's a build to it like like as much as I hate the cliches in football there are some dudes where they're so good at their fucking position as quarterback, like Patrick Mahomes, mm. every dude in that co- in that locker room would die for him. But then it's one of those things you, you got to be that. That's the type of leader you have to be as a quarterback. But, but then like the we other, ride or die, let's go. But and the for other Jamie it, to be, oh, and yeah. for Jamie, to, I'm sorry, and for Willie to be as so selfish as he was, as much as I fucking hate it, because I hate it when white people say that. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done making excuses for yourself? <laughs> Shut up, white man. Shut up, white man. I just took <laughs> white people love doing that right after we talk about our racial mm-hmm. struggles. Are you done? They're like, they're like, but after that point, he made a huge point. You're a quarterback, motherfucker. D, D, <laughs> that just reminds me of the picture of the white guy dressed up in the Native American guard pointing at the Native American trying to tell him why he shouldn't be offended. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what that shit is. Like, do you see the irony in this? Like, you can't you can't do that. It Go ahead, Aaron. It was funny because if it is Miami. <clears throat> Jamie says everything. Did you finish? Yeah. Can I go now? I think the opposite end of leadership spectrum. Oh, oh, is oh Tony survived. Yeah, Tony, Tony survived and became happened. a pro. Like Tony Mr. survived. Izzo, and became a, he like, checked and be, it. No, sorry, I said Tony survived and became a football coach. <laughs> Don't remind me of that fucking Scarface game <laughs> where they did a what if he survived the fucking shot and got rushed to the hospital. So Do you now know he has that to this get- dude below me. Tried to keep me on the phone because he was bored playing the game. <laughs> 2006 was a magical year. It was a um, magical year. That game's yeah. plot was just like, so let me get this right. Tony Absolute survives. Shit. Now he has to get back all his places that can. You know what? Never mind. This ain't- we get to see, no, we get to see faces to the names that was dropped in the movie. <laughs> like- I didn't ask for this game. God damn! I got Dude. to see what I got to see what Gasper Gomez looked no, like. No, I got to see no. what the Lopez, like no. the Diaz brothers look. That's like. what I'm saying. This nigga called me D. I'm fighting the Diaz brothers D with no patience. Yeah, man. So um, <laughs> the that album came out. <laughs> yeah, but, I, was oh, like, is it, I was like, listen, is it as good as Diplomatic Community One? Nah, then we ain't got nothing to talk about. Dude, Dude, here's me. Probably better than that Scarface game. You leave me in my entertainment alone. <laughs> the opposite, it, I would say the opposite in leadership. Russ Wilson's first year of Denver. Woo! I don't yeah. think he had control of that locker room after that. I don't like like at least seen, that year he that year he did. I think this year it's gotten a bit better. It's gotten better this year, but last year it is magical when you see certain quarterbacks. Just turn off a whole locker room. Ryan, who is a Ryan Leaf, is probably the best one. This motherfucker went uh, in. With, Ryan Leaf. Imagine Willie I Beeman. Yes. Imagine Willie Beeman if he went through six games and didn't win none of them and still got up there. My name is Willie. 
Look, that's what Ryan Leaf did. And, it, and it was, there's a famous blow up where he gets to a, where he's talking to you like, Just shut up, get out of my face, okay? Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, was that was was that when he was with Tampa or with the Chargers? No, that's when he was still with the Chargers. Okay, and the okay. Chargers was like, okay, okay, so we fucked up. Get this piece of shit off our team. <laughs> we are so sorry, San Diego. We did get that. Speaking of uh, San Diego, uh, of uh, locker room shenanigans, I would like to know which one of which one of it was us. Um, we we see like we're seeing 1999 Cameron Diaz coming into the locker room. Who? No. Which one of those three is greeting her? Full professional, but butt ass naked. You, 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 Eris. Oh, that's me. It's going to be you. Okay. Hey yo, hey, you know why? Because me and Eric, me and Chris would not even think of it, but you would be like, "I'm gonna I'm walk to a full dick, not even <laughs> hold it, banana, banana swinging." <laughs> Shout out to Oliver Stone, find an uncircumcised black man to play that role. By the way. <laughs> that was hard. That's a that was actually rough hard. Like no put it in the rough. That was hard back then. <laughs> First off, you're supposed to say pause and then go into that. No, oh, we already talked about flaccid penis and camera Diaz. We should have said pause for we should have said pause for all the all the we should have said pause because it sound gay and pause for camera Diaz because ill. <laughs> look, all I'm saying is I'm pretty sure. Oh, come Cameron, on, this is Charlie's Angels, Paul. Don't you dare, don't you, look, Eris? I was One year before Charlie's to, Angels, two thousand. Well, Eris, I was about to come to the camera if you said, "Hey man, remember." I hate all of you motherfuckers. All of you. Hey, man. She was cute in the mask. No, she wasn't. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. She I wasn't was? even going to bring I wasn't was? even gonna bring, I was not bringing up the mask. I hate everybody to do that. Man, she was cute in the mask. She looked She looked like she was cute in there. No, she didn't. Nah, nah, oh, nah. You, no. know, you know, you, know, you want to know my villain Stop. origin story? You want to know my villain origin story with Cameron Diaz? When every motherfucker was hyping up her, shaking her non-existent ass and fucking and Charlie's Charlie Angels. Nah, you want to know my... You want the one I hated? This joke. That that camera did. Ah. That joke was funny for four seconds. When I learned that that was coming her hair, I was like, oh. Okay, we're done? She was such a good sport. Yeah, she was such a good sport. She was such a good sport. <laughs> hey, D, does anybody talk about something about Mary? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but. No. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the best line out of that movie came from my boy Keith David. How'd you get the beans on top of the Franks? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> D I, back then. Is that spawn? No bullshit. I didn't say that. I, I love and, <laughs> my my nerd black ass. I look like I love it when Keith David has to question something. Dude, he was really like, how'd you get the beans on top of the Franks? That, that, that's possible. The beans Keith on David, top of the Franks. No, Keith David and they live. Looking out the window. How long have they been down there? <laughs> <laughs> nah, my favorite one. Just, like, like, how long have they been down there? <laughs> nah, nah, my favorite one. My favorite one. I'm in my 30s. I'm still a good looking black man. So how long has this motherfucker been on the <laughs> underneath that ice? <laughs> that look on his face was like, I should have kept my ass in the no, you know as a black man, he smoked a cigarette like a joint. You know what? He was smoking that joint like a joint, yo. When a black man smoked a cigarette like a joint, he is stressed. <laughs> Nah, but man, but like nah, an remote, alien out here. An alien out here in the middle of this day of snow. It's winter <laughs> time. I'm in here with them, but white people. Well, T, well TK's with me. I'm like TK's with me, but nigga, you the cook. You ain't doing none of the important shit. I'm just a mechanic. That's fucked up, man. You know black people are going to be cooks and mechanics back in the eighties. Actually, I'm like nigga, if you don't roller skate your ass out of this room, I, I, will, this I ain't gonna get ate by that motherfucking monster. Before we end this, though, the best Keith David line again, probably if, if you guys get if you folks get a chance to watch it, Men at Work, Keith David's in the movie, right? Wait, what? He's in that movie, Men at Work. 
He's in that movie. Yeah, yeah. Movie. yeah. He's yeah. the angry black man to to to, to Charlie Sheen and uh, Emilio Estevez. It's fucking hilarious. I have not seen that movie in years. But, I said that. But like, like, there's a line where he's like, there are several th- sacred things in this world that you don't ever mess with. One of them happens to be another man's fries. Now you remember that, and you will live a long and healthy life. <laughs> Where's the live by? <laughs> the delivery the of it was hilarious. <laughs> when a black nurse get a black man with cl- with clear, who are clear, and he's bald in this movie too. So that's already like, oh, you're getting uh, that's already ten. That's ten plus. That's ten plus in strength. You already know that. <laughs> so when he's telling you, don't mess with his fries. You might want to not mess with this man's fries. He could oh, kill you. <laughs> Sir, no, nah, man, the, um, fact that, the fact that he literally sits there and pulls the shim sham of, yeah, so, um, going to the New Mexico Aztecs, and by the way, bitch, I'm taking Willie Beeman with me. Before, <laughs> but, wait, hold on, but he had he's had a whole lot to think about, though, because you see, we had a subplot in this long ass movie, by the way, there was know, a subplot right? with Al Pacino, uh, Dating a local Miami whore, uh, sir. The whore was uh, the character from 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 from. Uh, <laughs> the fuck? Everybody got A's and shit. I know. Um, yeah, from Strip of a freaking uh, Showgirls, Elizabeth I, Berkeley. I, I, I really feel that's her character, <laughs> but she just happened to come into this movie afterwards because it do, there no, is a progression here. It feels like there's a progression here. This is 1999. All right. It's 1999, mm-hmm. all right? And first off, it threw me off what year this was because in this year, this actually takes place in 2001. And this story takes place in 2001. So saw what you did there, movie. And actually, it actually, like I said, it partially kind of predicted where the NFL was exactly going at that time. But don't, anyway. you, like, don't you love when movies that come out in the late 90s all like have the story take place like four or five years from... The mini, from- skip, the mini time <laughs> skip is always <laughs> an underappreciated thing. Yeah. But, but like I was saying, he's... he when he's, I mean, he starts... Uh, no, first, first, sir, <laughs> she, I mean, like she meets him in a bar and she was like, oh my God, it's like you're it's just like so you're so and so like I remember like I remember you were coaching and I always like I always wanted to meet you like ever since I was 16. Ma'am, how are you? Like how old are you? Age doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah. Uh-huh. So how much so so he didn't ask how much she said she she did it for him. Yes, yeah, no, I first of all, she she slid she slid over to him and just said she was like, listen. Oh, oh, oh man, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> she said, It's a thousand a night. I have a place. Did she ask for like five on top? I'm like, bitch, you asked for six G's. But she did say the good thing. She saw Jim Brown walking over. Frank had joined too. Yeah, Frank. Like, no, she was like, I got friends. It's like, I got friends. I can take care of the hey, whole team. Hey. Like, I can take care of the whole team. I was like, yo, I was like, yo, Elizabeth Berkeley, please do not tell me that you or your friends is the throat goat and y'all about to go after the entire football team. Um, she's that, going at because <laughs> who knew that this movie would predict. What would happen in 2020? Mm. Homegirl, homegirl, she blew, I think, what was it, the starting lineup and eventually the whole team. I mm. forgot which basketball team it was, but uh, homegirl's name was AJ. Ah, okay. And, uh, yeah, she was known as the throw goat, and she downed that whole basketball team. It's all over Google. Just just, just type in local, just type in local Miami whore uh, basically whore. basketball team. Local Miami whore. It's yeah. gonna be different. Sue, Sue, I, I, I just need to say, um, just go ahead and just make that T-shirt that says "whores" on the front. I, I will do that. Just get it over with. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> now that he's stopping. Now hold on. Now that, wait, like, now that the coach is finally getting money for the team, he's actually getting enough money. Where he's like, I guess I can do this. Which, bear in mind, oh, yeah. according to the owner, he's the lowest paid coach in the NFL, and, and he, he still can hold, and he can still afford a horse. That's crazy. High priced, so <laughs> high priced horse. High priced horse. High. Son, let me, let me, let 
me paint this picture for you. After he had a wonderful evening with her, she's in the bathroom getting herself together because, you know, it's the end of that date. So uh, I was just wondering, what do you say we make this uh, you know, kind of a regular thing? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we could do that. I have clients for that as well. Uh, I mean, uh, without the money. Uh, <laughs> I like how she just looked uh, at him like, uh, "Don't do this." That's cute. Wait, that's cute. That, wait, that's cute. But, look, you really don't want to do this. Like, like you really don't. But I love how wait. Elizabeth acted on that, Joe. Go ahead, go ahead. You don't want to do like, that. You, like you really don't want to do this. No, but I really like you. Like, I'm telling you, you really don't want to do this. But I'm serious. I, I really like you. You really don't want to do this. Um, <laughs> my man wrote her a check and sent her on her way. Look, all I'm saying is this. You know what she said? You know what she said to him, though, Eris? Does that sound like something you want? Yes. Well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. I mean, let's be real. There are, there are, there are, uh, what's it? uh the, I'm not going to say prostitutes, escorts. Yeah, escorts. Um, that, that really, they are already 10 toes down on, I'm not getting involved with no goddamn clients. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm going to get out the game, I'm going to get out completely and get with somebody that was never a client. That, that's just, that's just what it is. Right. And, it, you get so, with a civilian. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You just go to civilian life. You know, it just is what it is and stuff. Um, so I, I get where she's coming from because, like, yeah, this would be very weird. Because sure, you like me, that's cool. I'm I believe. a full, like, I'm a full thirty years younger than you. Also, she just gave him a girlfriend experience. That's all that shit. Was. That's I will say this. Was. I will say this though. The one thing I, I said, Elizabeth yeah. played a good. Yo, Al. It's just your turn, dog. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> I say Elizabeth. Play, the reason why I say Elizabeth played it good was because, um, number one, I think if you're a woman in that position, where yeah, dude, this is my job, chill. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, like, what are we doing? But here, I dude? think when you're a celebrity, or you, or you fuck really good, when you go, yeah, so I'm trying to make it more than that. You know what that does to the girl? Going to pussy. Look, check it out. You don't want to do that, honey. Uh, let's <laughs> I be like real. how she did that. Because she was like, oh, uh, fell in love. Uh, 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 I did a good thing. <laughs> Seriously, you don't want to do that, sweetie. Uh, I got to get tested actually next week. So I really don't know how that's going to go for me. <laughs> how, how many athletes, NFL, NBA, end up hooking up with like the prostitute or the or the stripper and all that? I, say, I want that. Nah, nah, I got to Local whores, my bad. Jeez. No, no, yeah, because yeah, because here's the thing. What I learned is a thing. This, this is what I learned. When you're a rookie, you're banging local whores. All right, yeah. you're a rookie, or you're a low, or you're a low on the totem pole. You're banging all the local hoes. <laughs> Shout out to Kyle Kuzma. Um, <laughs> actually, hold on. He was if banging are, them stadium chicks. Hold on, if you are second tier, that's when you're banging what I like to call the upper crust of that city. You're banging some of the uh, some of the good, some better girls, you know. So Jordan Poole is doing that, is what you said. Yeah, Jordan Poole. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Probably, probably, but I think Kyle Kuzma is living with these with the second tier whores of Washington D.C., which means they got their own crib. But it's more like, don't touch my hair, don't, please, please, yeah, yeah, yeah don't. Please don't touch my hair and then there's the t upper crust now the upper crust on the girl at the upper crust what i heard are the real good ones and usually they're the only ones that get married in that in in the whole whore field they're the only ones that get married because they usually are either good weathered hoes or <laughs> or or they just like hey Game is game, nigga. I've been doing this since I've been doing this since 2007. Baby, you 40 years old, and I still rock. I'm laughing now. that we literally <laughs> I done fuck up. rookies. I done had LeBron twice. The nigga don't even remember me. Yes. I'm <laughs> we're doing a fucking Venn diagram of whores and just like <laughs> uh, if I would do a Venn, the I, Venn I just, diagram. Listen, I want to know which tight end is going after the uh the penny stocks, the pink sheets. Yeah, like, ooh. like, like, like here's the thing. Practice squad. Um, because if, if there's a Venn diagram, I think it would be. 
I want to know. The vi- There's got to be a Venn diagram between whore and 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 girlfriend that just hooked up with this dude mid year. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's got to be a connecting thing with that man. But I think if you're, but I think it's just weird. How many guys? How many football players are still fucking with hookers though? Probably a lot. You know I mean, I mean do you I mean, think so? I think it is. Just it's just not. I think it's one of those things where. Um, I think Cash just said the best. Like OnlyFans has kind of opened it up to where it's like sure. a, it's normalized at this point. I would right? say this. So, like, so in that, I mean, so in that case, then, sir, um, only the top one to five percent. <laughs> yes, actually, actually, you're right because guess who did that? Zion freaking Williamson. Zion Williams, Williamson, who can literally fuck whatever woman he wants to, say, you know what? I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use OnlyFans as a catalog. I have to be real with you. That is some balling shit. But here's the thing. Here's the problem. <laughs> you, just be, you just gotta be careful. You just gotta be careful. The ones who uh, who decide to smash you, but at the same time film you on an iPhone. But 7. here's the thing. Zion made a mistake. You made a critical mistake. Yeah, he is the boss you, 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 the no, 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 crazy ass chick. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you stuck your dick in a chick that thought by fucking Zion she would get out the game clean. And <laughs> she, I'm like, she was going after a come up. Boy, Mariah Mills. She got the come, Mariah but there was no Mills. up. <laughs> Mariah Mills. It was up in her vagina. <laughs> hey, Chris. Hey, Eris. You're gonna. <laughs> Eris, you're gonna like this one. Mariah Mills, who refused to be <sighs> fucked by a black man on camera, fell in love <laughs> with Zion Williamson. It was the irony. Bad. The irony had all of us on Black Twitter in tears because we are number one. The fact that all the Black Twitter clocked the fact that Mariah don't fuck with black men already. Shout out! <laughs> shout out to this one black girl. This you, and it was her with a white dude's. Jo- <laughs> Black Twitter at that moment. <laughs> no, because we all were like, no. Here's the thing: we were all in Zion's corner. Like, I mean, Zion in the right. He 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 already told you up front what the deal was. I'm sorry, lady. Nah, no, no. The, deal the was. second she started talking shit, Black Twitter in unison. At the FTR match, I saw accusations. The These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And further. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I mean, God. You know, but but nah, man. I like I enjoy this movie. You know this this movie. No, it was something that was something that you were about to mention. By the way, about the end. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah when he yeah, made yeah, the announcement, yeah. he first. How do you love that ultimate swerve? He makes the announcement acting like he's about to quit, right? Like he's about to retire, retire go oh, off into sunset. the sunset, you know, that whole thing. This man is going to a whole other team and he's taking Willie with him. Full, full car to block to do whatever the fuck he wants. Full car to block. He, you know, he, then- congr- he congratulates Aaron Eckhart for taking over. Like, oh, yeah, like he's great. He's like, fantastic. Like, fantastic. Fantastic guy. And, um, Don Christina, I'm, I appreciate you finally giving me my respect. <laughs> but I'll be making my transition and taking Willie with me. <laughs> Look, she said, whatever your decision is, we'll support it. All right, D'Amato, what you going to do? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sir, when they showed, um, oh, God, I forgot the other, I forgot the old, uh, the old man that was with him because... <laughs> Oh, he was pissed. He was the only one pissed. He was All like, right. son of a bitch. Son. His re- Both him and Cameron Diaz's reaction. But I can't take this shit no more, man. Cameron she Diaz was kind of like... Because she was Cameron, like, oh. remember, she's already going through Dan- Daniel Snyder mode of every on her fucking oh, yes, gut. Yes. And then she's going through, I'm trying to get this team to L.A. Eris, do you know... A move to L.A. has been the M.O. of the NFL since the late 90s. Since when mm-hmm. this movie was made, they thought they was going to have a team in L.A. by 2005, and it never even happened. Yeah. And it just kept on getting and extended. It and, until extended the and, Rams. and it wasn't until the Rams. No, it wasn't until one of these owners said fire sale and got the fuck out of their city, and that was St. Louis. And that's mm-hmm. why I said – I I can I will not I will describe it wrong to you what happened in St. Louis, but like I said, he 
fucked the city. It was yeah. that bad. He <laughs> fucked over a whole city. Now you have the whole section of the Midwest without the team they watched every single Sunday that won two Super Bowls because the Rams won two Super Bowls in the 2000s. You, hell, I would believe there will be no Nelly if the Rams weren't in motherfucking St. Louis. Wow. Like, like because the Rams were a, the Rams were a big part of the culture of St. Louis. Mm-hmm. And he and then, Y'all don't need this shit no more. I'm going to LA. Then the Rams Aris. and LA. And, and now, Aris, the denizens of that yes. Area. Now, guess what? Now you heard what I said. The Rams in LA because you know they ain't got no culture. They're like this. <laughs> Cole, Cole, we'll take motherfucking Rams. We'll take the Rams. You really and said that then, one to your whole chest. They don't got no culture. God damn. <laughs> anyway, you don't know blood of the it. shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that's cold blooded shit. That's what niggas said back in the eighties about LA. But anyway, um, but here's the best <laughs> part of this story, Eris. Now, Eris, now you just thought to yourself, eh, okay, that sounds standard. Hey, D, didn't you just tell me there was another team in LA? The San Diego Chargers did the same thing, and it was way worse. What happened in St. Louis? Oh, they're going to be mad. They still got the St. Louis Cardinals. They still got the St. Louis Blues. They're fine. They're going to win a World Series like in five years. Nobody gives a shit. San Diego has nothing except Rey Mysterio masks everywhere. And the Padres. Oh, yeah, the Padres. So you fucked it up. Now, now I can't say that anyway. It's a Ray Mysterio mask. But like I said, they no, Ray, no, Ray, no, city, Ray, Mysterio, Ray Mysterio mask. The Padres, but who cares about them? Look, the Padres, you know what, Eris? And the Padres this past season got the biggest, had the biggest, one of the biggest budgets in baseball. Did nothing. Zero. Now San Diego. Zero. Non-existent. One of the greatest things about existent, my guy. One of the greatest things about baseball and hockey is they have the same problem. All of the money's in here. <laughs> this is enough for us to buy a, a championship. There's nothing coming out. What the hell? What happened? <laughs> D, you, and, didn't and do, look, D, you didn't do this. Got- you didn't do this. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But yeah, hey, that's what the Texas Rangers did. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? The Texas Rangers were the first team in a long time in baseball. I mean, I don't want to say a long time in baseball, but a good. Oh, no, no. Because remember, LA did it a few years ago. No, but they lost. They didn't win until COVID happened. You know what? That's mm-hmm. so fucking funny. <laughs> Both the LA teams weren't done COVID, and the Lakers deserved it, but the Dodgers kind of got lucky. Whatever. What the point, point is, point is, point is, point is, point is. Point is. It's just so funny that that was a big thing at the time. Everybody trying to get a fuck in L.A. And now they're in L.A. And it feels like L.A. is going to get rid of these teams in like 10 mm-hmm. years. I feel- Anyways, um, yeah, that's in the given Sunday. And then the mo- it, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's any given. I like scene, how the right? movie ends. It's like after credits, but they still continue the still movie. Still continued in a way, in a weird way. It's a, it's a choice. I ain't mad at it. I think it's an interesting choice that they did it because you know they could have mm-hmm. easily just kept it fade going, but yeah, fade yeah. to black. But it's just like you know they yada yada them getting their ass whipped by Minnesota twenty three to twelve, you know, and it's like all right, cool, you know, and that's because the movie because most movies it would have ended with yeah they won the playoffs and then they would have cut to and I hope. Yes, I can. You know that shit, and you know, and then they. Bill Bellamy had a heart attack. Five. (laughs) Bill Bellamy's character had a heart attack five months after after the Pantheon Cup. (laughs) The coach finally got his dream. He got with the whore. (laughs) Did you like? Did you like the 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 look? (laughs) Did you like the uh, the look of Dwayne Martin being in this movie for all of for all of three scenes? I was like, why the fuck is this fool in this movie? And he's supposed to be Willie's agent. And I'm like, so you just pop that in there in the movie all of a sudden now. Like, now we see his agent. You couldn't just show that in the beginning, huh? All right, cool. It shows up and then never seen again. That's a quick oh, check. Oh, shout out to all shout out to all you women out here with the Will Smith joke. This is how y'all with Will Smith and Dwayne Martin. I know this is how y'all sound right now. Now everybody is seeing what I have seen for the last couple of years. Ironically, though, um, Will I'm Smith. Sorry, that is, was Lisa Ray. That was Lisa Ray. Yeah, yeah. Now everybody's. Is- <laughs> Ironically enough, 
Will Smith is about to fucking sue the shit out of old girl for fucking throwing that shit out there, even though it ain't true. Boy, so. that's funny. Uh, real quick, real quick. Um, when it comes to somebody in the movie, we have to recognize one. <laughs> we have to recognize one person in this movie, and he was very, in, very important. This fucking man. Jim Brown. Jim Brown being in this movie. The most with... defensive <laughs> coordinator in existence. Come on, now you a goddamn linebacker. Hit him. <laughs> I can hit he him. was he was talking so much shit, but when it came down to him and Al Pacino sitting in that bar, my mm-hmm. man said, Listen, I remember I remember back in the day, he was just happy to just have a job. Dude, that's some black man shit right there. That was serious black man shit. That then was... when he then when he said that the, the peak peak coach shit, I don't know about you. I'm going into high school because they just want to play. That's the peak old black man. I'm tired of everybody. Back when there was pure. When the purity of the sport. as you said, coach, it's pure. Hey, it's the shades and the arm folding for me. That is like that's my dad. Look at that shit. And that was in Jim yeah, Brown's. Yeah. And that was when Jim and still the had heavy ass, and the heavy ass mustache. Bro, that's when Jim still had power in his arms, so he could still stiff arm a couple people. Like, yo, Jim, and, you're sixty, you know, but you still and, got it. And, and punch women too. But you know, you know what, Aaron? You know what, Chris? <laughs> you know what, Chris? I would not let you take. I will not let you take ah. black man's look. God damn it, Chris. Oh, Every day the same shit. <laughs> Tired of you. Tired of you breaking this man's legacy. But that being said, Eris, because on um, Jim Brown <laughs> seriously, Jim Brown did pass this year, and um he has a he had um, they pretty much got an icon on every fucking um every fucking um jersey this year. You, Truly, like seriously, I said it when he died. He's a wrestling guy. He's not a wrestling guy. He's a football guy. He's, yeah, he's a football guy. Football he guy. died when he died. Eris, instead of him going to heaven, he's like, wait a minute, Jim Brown butt naked. Wait a minute, where am I going? And then as he's going to heaven, he goes from old Jim Brown to prime Jim Brown. Like, oh man, I can knock people over. Where the white women at? Oh shit! I hope nobody heard me. I hope no black people heard me say that. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, what's going on? Wait a minute. Dick Buck by the way, Hall of Famer Dick Buckus. He called Jamie Foxx a faggot in this movie. He did. Oh, oh, also, um oh, in the most in the most ironic of things, Dick uh <laughs> call somebody a homophobic slur. I mean, Love that's it. that's that that's wow. peak old school white man shit, but um peak old school white guy. Look. So here's the thing, uh it, uh former I cowboy he needed chew in his mouth. He needed to chew in his mouth when he said that. You, you, say, former, you say peak, I say possible current, but go ahead. Uh, uh former cowboy coach and Jerry Jones dick sucker, uh Barry Switzer. Was in the movie yeah, as a yeah, commentary. Yeah, Switzer was in this fucking movie. I say dick um, sucker because Barry Switzer was after that whole fallout with uh, Jimmy Johnson. Jerry was whole thing is I can get anybody to be a coach for the Cowboys and win the Super Bowl. And here come Barry Switzer from motherfucking Oklahoma. Well, let me <laughs> tell you something. I can be the coach that you want me to be. <laughs> but but when I'm over here, I want ter- I want Troy Aikman to get on the bench. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> The sick part is like Barry had Jimmy Johnson's team in an addition to Deion Sanders. I'm like, you didn't really do anything, Barry. You just sat back and just did Troy Aikman coach. You didn't do anything, sir. Shut the fuck up, son. I would like to. Like, Shut I would the fuck like up, to, son. I'm rolling. I, I would also like to point out that I enjoyed the um, the 1999 equivalent of Shannon and Skip, where every time Willie went <laughs> went on that show. <laughs> Now, skip. That was that. that but was my man said, my man said, he said, give me love, brother. I'm nah, a nah, pass. I'm, I'm, nah, a pass. Nah, I'm a pass on the love. That was um, making fun of Jim Rome's show when Jim Rome, Jim Rome had, Jim Rome, to his credit, had the number one show on cable and a, a radio show, too. So Jim Rome does have some respect, but Jim Rome in the 90s was so punchable. 
And that's why if you look up Jim Rome, Jim Everett, you see Jim Everett putting all fucking hands on Jim Rome until they cut the motherfucking seed. <laughs> Perfection. Because um, all these, like I said, because all these motherfucking punters just habitual line steppers. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's it. Um, we'll be back next week for our regularly scheduled programming. Um I find it amazing. Like we get we get Sue on and stuff. Uh people tend to forget Sue does know his sports stuff. Um probably I would say more so basketball, because because we did go to a couple basketball games, Wizards games. I went to quite a few. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. So when D brought up the stack house out, me and me and Sue looked at each other like, yeah, that was those those that was a time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. One more person to bring up, Eric. <laughs> Not over. It's like me. It's like ah. Oh, Chris. One white person that we did Chris come- stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the blood flowing. <laughs> you know hey, 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 it's raining right now. My knee is my knee is acting up right now. <laughs> my knee is acting up. My knee is acting up. God damn it. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. It's so funny. Real quick, real quick, Eris. Real quick. Last thing here, girl Chris. We didn't recognize this. Now we said dip buckets. We said Jim Jim Brown. There was one more uh, football god on that field, and it was in the last game. The coach that they was going that he was coaching against that was the great Johnny Unitas. Oh shit! I forgot that was, that that was, was Johnny Unitas. Johnny. Yeah, that was Johnny Unitas. Johnny Unitas, who was the huh. first Super Bowl legendary legend, fucking legend. I'm serious. If you are if you are a quarterback and you die, he's the first face you see. No, like he not like, Madden, J- not Madden is Unitas. Like, like no, John Madden is John Madden is actually. I feel like John Madden is for all the regular football players that that go into the godhood. If you're just a football player that goes into, you're like, hey, hey, welcome to football heaven. Come over here. Let's give me a hug. Give me a hug John guys. Madden saying the most obvious stuff. See, you come to heaven when you die. Yeah. Chris, hey, 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 take out, look, just pull it all the way out. Want to duck him? Come on, get one, get one. <laughs> get one. Up here in heaven, you're like, well, how, like, I'm sorry, John, I'm not used to, I'm sorry, Mr. Man. I'm not used to seeing 1981, John, man. I tell this everybody. It was the prime me. <laughs> he look, Eris, look, now, if you notice, I would have my hand like this the whole time as I'm John Madden. Why? That's a whole ass traducan leg right here. Like, I don't mean. I got to so, be honest with I'm you. To... I got to be honest with you. That last Madden cover should have had Madden with a traducan in his hand when he <laughs> I ain't going to lie. That, hey, like... hey, 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 Chris. Chris, Chris, it would have made the game more viable if I had. really would have. Hey, look, let me listen. You know for a fact there is somebody on Etsy who made a cover for that. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm still stuck on John Madden in heaven. He's just randomly pulling out your duck and legs, throwing them at everybody. You're like, yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. gosh, yeah. boom, there he goes. <laughs> Tough acting and acting. <laughs> No, no, when you say that, John will stop. Hey, kid, how are you? Um, like, I, like, I, like, how old were you when we died? I was, I was 39 years old. Really, 39 years old? You remember that commercial? Hey, this guy knows me. This guy knows me. You don't know me. How old are you? I was only 23 years old. How you die? How you get done? I was actually drugged and I walked into the motherfucking street. Oh, you're Dwayne Haskins. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry how you, I'm sorry how you went out, man. That's, that's, it's a shame how we as football players, John Madden got deep. <laughs> Introspective as motherfucker. Oh, oh, I mean that. Oh, he got drugged. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, he did. The more and more I looked at that shit, something happened to, to, to Haskins for him just to walk out in the middle. Just, fentanyl? How? What? None of it makes sense, young. Know? So, yeah, whatever. whatever. Anyways. <laughs> You're like, what, 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 like I said, John all, all jolly all of a sudden. No football. Something special for all of us. It was all Jenkins. You know, all of a sudden Jerry Springer is doing his Jerry Jerry talk on the his side. Final, like, his final final thought. thoughts. <laughs> fentanyl. It's a deadly killer. You know, fentanyl has brought in a few people up here to heaven. But who knew that athletes would be here? Here's the what I was never addicted to it. You see, addicts are already here every day. I was never addicted. I was drunk. <laughs> Take care of yourself. No, no, no. Any chance. <laughs> Who else is in heaven, D? Who, who's, who's, 
All right, I have one more person. <laughs> the ghost of Chris Carter. You're seeing all the fucking football gods in front of you. You're like, it's like, man, I'm sorry. I didn't like I'm like, was I good enough football player? We're not sure. Yeah, we're not sure. Okay, what's your question? Why is Steve McNair God? Because I am, nigga. <laughs> I earned it. How did you earn it? You never won a Super Bowl. <laughs> nah, 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 random. The year, and all of a sudden, Brian Grease, why are you here? You're not dead. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the one, no, 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 no. Man. Now, 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 when Jim Brown got there, you're like this. Jim, we're glad you're here. Now, we're all about to make a, our first vote. What's our first vote? Is Brett Favre going to get in here? No, yes. Oh, for the love of God, this is never going to be United. <laughs> no. And guess who? Guess who's the one who said no? And guess who's the one who said yes? Who? Pat, uh, Pat Riley. Pat Riley. Why Pat, Pat Riley's, Riley's in there, nigga? That's a whole different other god. <laughs> They're going to be like, wait a minute, you're you a forget. basketball guy. You and forget. You're not you dead. forget. You forget, sir. Coach Pat Riley is a medium. How is he a medium? Oh, uh, no, no, look, no, Ares, no. Is it because that Pat... This is going to be good with Ares. Let me curse. Ares, is it because that Pat Riley these last six years, nobody has been saying, saying it, but he has been looking very ghoulish for the last six years? Exactly, Mundo! No, Pat Riley has gotten old, nigga, and no one's talking about it. I know the slick back hair, eh, swag. I know. Pat got old, nigga. Actually, the other person. Now do, you under, now do you understand why I said he would be the one to say yes? Actually, the other person that would say yes, good old Pat Summerall. Mm. Pat Summerall like, like, why are you like, 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 Pat, wait a minute, how are you a guy? I was a good punter for years. And technically, me and John did this for a long time, so I got it on like,